Hello and welcome to another edition of the GH Podcast here at GH Headquarters. Myself, Dima, alongside my co-host, Chad. Big Z in the house. Don't make a C in the building. And our elusive guest. Our engineer. Our engineer. We paid him. We paid him. Big face Gary. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to get straight into it, lads. Which is the circus that is Mayweather versus McGregor. First off, are we all watching this fight? Yes. For, for, for 90 pounds. Who's well, paying? Listen. Let's be real. I don't think it's gonna cost ninety pounds. I think that's a rumor. I think it's gonna cost more than that thirty, forty quid. It's not. No, because uh, the last last year's fight there was about seventy, eighty pounds. It's come out as said. Yeah, it's, so it's, it's, it's not officially. That's just a Twitter thing, bro. Because they they just converted the US dollar amount. That's all they've done. Because the US sure? are gonna pay the big money. Like, yeah, I don't the US think they're gonna charge ninety quid. So basically, someone's holding a barbecue where each putting in like ten pounds. They're watching on yeah. a small tent. Oh, well, if it is ninety quid, are you watching it? No, I am. no, yeah. no. I'll probably go around in one of my bridges' houses that got it. Well, okay. It's the weekend of Liverpool versus Arsenal, though, so I'll be I'll be in one of the bars in Liverpool. Well, the okay. fight's a sham, man. Come if it's nice, but I'm not watching it. If it's any, it's any more than 45 quid, I'm not watching it, bro. I'm not paying for it, shall I say? Yeah. Okay. It's like paying... Imagine paying that price for Audie Harrison. That's what I'm saying. It is a circus, bro. Like I said, it's like Rocky going against Hulk Hogan, bro. It's a no-brainer, bro. We know who's winning the fight, but... They've stirred up a lot of I attention re- and... You can get I reckon this. a lot of people just got splits and just watch it like between four of them or something. Because yeah. so really whenever you want to watch a boxing fight, you don't want to watch it on your J's, right? It's you can get boring. odds of 16 to 1 for McGregor to get disqualified for kicking. Ah, uh, yeah, just in case he wants to unleash his leg, bruv, because yeah. he's MMA professional. Personally, I don't see that happening. He might accidentally slip into it, though, for just a reaction. Yeah, yeah. could do, could do. Because it's his it's first th- boxing match. Doesn't mean he's deep, but but more importantly though, you guys watch the um the the conferences, yeah. No, nope. not not watch them, but you've heard you've heard what's going. I've about. heard what's going on. Mm. I've seen a clip, but yeah. I'm not waiting. I haven't watched it. I'm not. I've seen watching that shenanigans show. Whatever is the, the most important stuff of of the thing. So there was a bit of a, a bit of controversy controversy when he when McGregor uh, told Mayweather to dance room and he used the word boy. He dance for me, boy. Play. Okay. Yeah? A lot of people took that as a racial slur, yeah? Anyone in here think there was some sort of racial undertone in that? Race undertone in that? I do. I do. Okay. Yeah. But I don't necessarily think that McGregor said it because he was trying to be racist. He was just trying to be disrespectful. Right. But you can't call a black man a boy when you're white or of, of another colour. Why not? Because if you go back into slavery times, that word was used... In, in other words, in, yeah, in, basically, in, uh, yeah. yeah, as uh, as opposed to the N word. Boy. Yeah, it was. Yeah, 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 it was. Yeah. Boy. Boy, come here, boy. Yeah. And it's the same thing that cops yeah, use today. Jungle. Instead of using the N word, they use boy. Yeah. Same word, same yeah, way they would use the word fug to describe you instead of a, a man. So, so what about people that are saying that Irish people in particular use that term boy a lot of the, a lot of the time? Well, just generally, yeah. whether they're white, black, or whatever. Yeah. They well then, go. well then, there you go, yeah, isn't it? Do. So if you if you're taking it as a racist comment, you're really just like putting it Boy on. Him, put, yeah, and you're really just right. making a hoo ha over something that you probably but, didn't uh, even. The, but the problem with the word though, it's like it's like it's, you could say the same thing about the n word. No, yeah. but boy, and the n word is. Two but you're not you're not, listen, you're not listening things. to it. You're not listening to what we're saying, man. The word boy has racial undertones because how, of its past. Yeah, but how do we know that he's he knows we, so much about that? We past? That's that's yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. That's, that's what we're that's saying. That's what the, we're the, saying. The difference. You, have, you do think we don't, but the thing is, because I didn't. Black know that. Twitter decided that he's racist. <laughs> right. but, yeah. But yeah. if you add into it the fact that there was a clip when he was asked about the fight and he com- about Rocky Free. Yeah? Okay. And he said, "Oh, was that the clip with the monkeys dancing in the gym?" Yeah. Okay. Now, no, what people say that clip he was referring to was when a, when black. when Apollo um, Rocky comes to Apollo Creed's gym and yeah. them black, black people. Yeah, because that is the only scene in that right. Rocky Three film. So yeah. if you add that to the film, that's now, definitely racist. Right. So if you add that to what you said about boy, does that add a bit more weight to the yeah. argument? Yeah, definitely. And then, then, then it does. I, I, I then it does. If he's done it. that, and he done that monkey monkeys comment before the boy comment, yeah. I don't know which one came first. Okay. But then there's a third thing. Okay. Yeah. Wow, this, this man's racist, <laughs> bro. No, it man. doesn't necessarily mean he's racist, no, so though. The third thing, he come out and <coughs> there's been a lot of talk that people are saying that I'm racist, yeah? Yeah. And he said, 
I'm not racist. I'm black from the waist down. Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah, I'm okay. black from the waist so down. So stereotype. Right, stereotype then. And then he said to all my black queens or something, black yeah. sisters or whatever, yeah. Yeah. and he started gyrating. Yeah. Oh my god, bro, this is a clear forget boy. <laughs> what about all these other comments? Minute, so boy saying, is probably the least racist so comment out of all of that. Him saying that he wants to sleep with black women makes him racist. No, come bro, come on. Crap, no, no, no. First of all, <laughs> no, get your troll on, boy, get your troll on. <laughs> the stereotype that black from the waist down, bro. Yeah. What's wrong with that? No, bro. No, that he... says, says the six foot eight man. <laughs> at, at, at best is a poorly executed joke. But yeah. When you start gyrating, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Flax. because he wants to sleep with nah, He wants some chocolate, yeah? Just for sure, no. OJ, OJ. Anyway, but anyway. So. Don't you feel you lot are racist for not wanting to sleep with black women? Who's you lot? Well, I can't. The same you lot that you just referred to. I can't find my Yeah, yeah. you. Clint's already got a black wife. John's done. <laughs> yeah. I'm married, so I can't no longer sleep with black women. That's a no, that's yeah. a no, that's a no. What's your excuse? <laughs> For the record, Darren looked at Chad. <laughs> What's your excuse, engineer? Engineer's got a bad woman. Engineer's left. <laughs> I want a black phone. That would be it. So that's not racist. <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway right, we went so, a bit off topic. Right. What was the thing? So... Right, what's not racist? Listen, listen. What's not racist? Listen, there's no racial untones in it. In you know what? He said. Can, like, can't, can't, can't he like say these sort of things and perceive them as like you know little jokes rather than? Well, that's what he's trying. That's, racist. Racist. that's like, what he's trying. Um, but monkeys in the gym is a really big, big thing to say. I mean, right. literally, you can't get away with yeah. that. But yeah. the other stuff to my black sisters, I reckon he's just like being a little bit, you know. Who cares? Banter. Yeah, Banter. But, the fight is going to be over. Yeah, in less than what? Five, yeah. six minutes. Yeah. Yeah. I Maybe think that's that's, that's an important part. It yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it, it is being that's sold. What he's doing. Yeah. It is yeah. being this is, sold. This is all to but get he, the ringside but, seats um, more expensive. Mayweather has caught more heat for calling McGregor a faggot. <laughs> See what I mean? It gets stupid, <laughs> innit? It, it gets stupid. You can say whatever you want about black people, but I'm <laughs> 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 yeah. the white yeah, exactly. homosexuals. Yeah, like exactly. Everyone's man. on you. And uh, McGregor, I there think he said go, something man. about Mexicans as well, the Cholos. Yeah. I think he said. He said and he's yeah, and, and, yeah, and so he's. The guy's ignorant. Don't yeah. Don't wrong. Maybe, I don't think he's necessarily you know racist, Gen- but. Generally, I reckon Irish people just talk like that. Generally. Whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> that was wow. Chad. That was Chad that said that. that, was Chad that said that. Wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are you covering me at the same time? Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no like their they type uh, of banter and the way they... Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's very... Uh, I'm just distancing myself from you right it, now, bro. Help me out, it puts... No dogs, man. Close to the... Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah that, that, what? I don't know. I, I personally... Well... I think there was some sort of racial undertones in it. Like, I don't think the guy's racist, don't get me wrong. Yeah, there's a difference. Stupid things to say. say. Yeah. Very stupid things to say yeah. in the context. But it's, it's, and I reckon it's ignorance, isn't it? And it's knowing better. And it's, I reckon because he knows that it's creating some heat on the internet, I reckon he's just doing it more and more. Because yeah. he, he's, he's mouth isn't he? Yeah, he was and asked about it and that. his response Do you was... Think, yeah, that the word racist, racism, gets thrown around too yeah. much. Yeah, 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 it does. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. Is, it yeah, does. What the word means, yeah, does not, does not, does not mean what McGregor's carrying on with. McGregor's being ignorant. Yeah, mm. exactly. That's why I said at the start. Racist. Yeah. He's no, not racist. No, racist undertone. He's being ignorant. He's being stupid. Because racist would actually mean that he wouldn't even get into a ring it with the black. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. what that's no, what. Racism. Different levels to racism, bro. Yeah, but there's, I reckon there's that's... that will have not so black friend, but won't date. Or maybe that is why he's getting. That's, that's or maybe. It's, that's like, preference, fam. Or maybe that is why he's getting in the room. That's, that's why you, we'll get into that. You need to look, look in the we'll dictionary and look up prejudice yeah, and racism very, and stuff. Very that's close. Preference. It's a thin line. <coughs> All right, so if you if you have like lots of lots of white friends, yeah. Yeah. Nope. As a Which child, I if, right, no, he said right, if. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> if. But your daughter brings home a white man and you're banging against your daughter being with a white man. Yeah? Is that pre- preference or is that prejudice or is that racism? That's Everything. I say that's uh, prejudice. I think it's prejudice because you're not, you're not necessarily... You're not, not hating on black people. But you don't want a black person in your family. Right, so yeah. that's yeah. Like white white, it was white, mate. <laughs> who do you marry... Yeah. <laughs> like I was saying, who, who do you marry... Tells me who you 
<laughs> I've heard that before. <laughs> I've heard that before. Yeah. So if you stay single, that person like. is making several clear messages and points. Okay. So what? What are you trying to say? It's preference. Okay. No, but that's different. Why is it different? No, I, re- I reckon. I reckon. I said your daughter. Your daughter, daughter brings a white, on man. white man. I would prefer her to bring a white man to a black man. No, I'm just saying, I would prefer it. Me saying I would prefer I is, is preference. No, but you're saying, saying no. you better not bring on right. that. Yeah. What's that? That's racist, man. That's a, that's a level. What's yeah. the problem? No, that's a level of racism. No, it's a level of racism. Yes, definitely. Yeah. 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 You can't say that. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's stupid. It's so you might, right. have, you might have white friends just because you've got no choice. Like they're in your circle or things like that, yeah? <laughs> but then as your racism comes out when your daughter wants to try and bring them out, why are you keep looking at me like that, Darren? <laughs> you know, you know like, with, with plenty of white friends, so I'm saying you're, you're aiming at him. Oh, no, no, I didn't. So you're saying that you can't have one with us so you know only black people he knows? Is that what you're saying? I did not say that at all. <laughs> you said he might have white people. No, I was about hypothetically. Oh, okay. I didn't know he's only got white friends. Has he? Yeah, so as he was saying, if your daughter if your daughter comes home with a white guy, honestly, I wouldn't care. You wouldn't care, no, but no, you would have some. If, if you did, if you if you was one of the people that yeah, said, if you no, did. I'm not coming on with, don't ever come okay. with a white guy. Yeah, that's the level of racism. Racism, yeah, for me. Right, that's all. That's all. All right, but how many people sitting here? How many of their parents said that to you when he's growing up? That you better not come. Not not wife. not those. Not you better not. I I'll was tight you lot because I got told that. No, I didn't get told that specifically. No, I got, I got pre- preference of that. I, yeah, kind of, kind of yeah, hinting yeah, yeah kind of hinting that you know. Uh, you don't want to say that your parents were racist back in the day, now. <laughs> no, my mum's mixed race, so she kind of trod the line sometimes. She she's yeah, mixed race. No, she 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 kind of trod the line. She you kind don't of know racist mixed race people now. <laughs> <laughs> that is just wrong, man. <laughs> she kind of trod the line, so she basically so sort of said, you know. <laughs> It's okay, it's fine, but I'd prefer if you went this way because certain things can happen between in an interracial relationship, yeah. you know, but the, the issues and problems. Culture. Yeah, like, yeah. exactly. You know I mean? it's yeah, yeah. It's so. African, yeah, it's, it's still div- going to be difficult. Exactly. You know I mean? Even though you're still in a black, 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 black it's a bit peak. But what did, your, what did your parents say to you then, Chad, about bringing home a white thing? That their parents are racist and you better not come home with no white girl. Oh, because of their parent, the way their parents would act Which around you. Yeah. Ah, so what about your parents? My parents just said, just bring a girl home. <laughs> 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 All right, I wasn't <laughs> expecting that. Even okay. if you have to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, going back to the topic. So we established that there was racial undertones. Yeah, there, no, was, there was. was. There was no, definitely. That was not established. Yes, no, there was definitely. Like, there was like, definitely like, racist. There was. No, there was definitely. Ignorance. I think there it was, was ignorance. definitely racist what, undertones. Maybe he was ignorant, but there right. definitely was. I think what Chad was. What Chad was saying that everyone. Everyone just wants to play on that word racist. But and just there's levels though, though, isn't it? There's levels right, to it, mate. Right, forget that though. In terms of the fight now, yeah. Do you think there's a sort of divide a racial divide do i oh. think or do i know <laughs> <laughs> i know there's a divide black, I don't black, black people are following mayweather and white people are going to follow mcgregor yeah because okay my thing is i don't like both of these fights right? okay i hope they, I hope, I hope you they, hope they both double knock out yeah? <laughs> the more i speak to people and yeah. the more they refer for mcgregor yeah. it's not because they want mcgregor to win it's because they yeah. hate floyd and and it's like that's what i said that they're a couple of kinds away from saying something racist bro like it's this kind of like they yeah. can't stand that the black man is on top. Bro. Okay, so it's, of cocky so it's like black versus white at the moment, yeah? I don't think so. No, it's some, it's some, it's some, fans, some, fans. In some things. But there's there been is. plenty my of fights. Problem, there's been plenty of fights with a white man and a black man. But this fight shouldn't even be happening. My, yeah, my point yeah, yeah. is, as a boxing purist, yeah, I want Mayweather to fight a boxer, another boxer. For me, this is a fantasy match that has been hyped up. It yeah. is yeah, as, yeah, yeah, as yeah. that. And it's not, not a lot of people are taking it serious as well. Let's be honest, like, yeah. what other guy can come in with no boxing history and get the fight with the greatest boxer? Mm. No. It's because it was hyped up That's to the it. max. It's yeah. just a hype. The man has been begging for the fight for years. But it's people that don't watch tickets boxing are, that are paying the most for apparently it. Apparently ringside tickets are going to go up as $85,000, bro. Oh, Eighty-five thousand dollars. 
This is pointless. That's what it's, that's what all this Yeah, and the thing is... Mayweather's going to knock him out within four rounds. Well, the thing is, if he doesn't, it's a mockery, because I know Mayweather doesn't knock out people anymore, but at the same time... He can if he wants to. It's just, for just this fight and he stuff. He just doesn't yeah. want to get but hit. Boxing's yeah. already in the gutter. Boxing has loads of problems and they've kind of made it nah, worse I with this. I that mm. boxing's not in the gutter. I think it is. I think that's just a heavyweight division, to be fair. I think, it, I think the there was a fight the other day. Trash. Someone lost... The, who lost the other day on points? Did someone lose on points the other day? And it was clearly not. Everyone, I, lost on points. I think it was him and there was an uproar. And look how many yeah. times over the years there's been boxing... Dis- yeah. And that's what I mean. Uh, there's too many times over the years where, where that's happened. All right, cool, cool, cool. Well, moving on anyway. Um, we got the um, the Kodak Black situation. Do you know who he is? No, no right. to be honest. He's, he's a rapper. A rapper. Yeah, yeah. I see, I use, use that term loosely because he's crap. I saw the little clip you lot posted in the, right. in the group, though. So he basically come out and said, in a nutshell, he don't like dark-skinned girls. Okay. Yeah, he's dark himself. Yeah. He don't like dark skin. Can remember anybody re- remember the reason? Yeah, he said something like, "He doesn't look. He doesn't like dark skin girls because dark skin people are disgusting or not pretty." Basically, he said right. something wow. like that. Okay. okay. Now I think he later tried to come out and clarify his, his thing. Yeah. Too late. 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 Do we think because? Obviously, a lot of people jump on him saying, oh, self-hate, this is a typical blah, blah, whatever. You only want someone lighter than you or white girls or da, 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 da whatever. Okay. Now, some people said it's not, you know, his pref- it's his preference. Yeah. If that's his preference... He should be allowed it. to say it, yeah. yeah. But is there, is there anything wrong with having a particular preference and being against another kind of uh, shade of woman? What do you mean? That 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 him. He's saying, look, I like light skin girls. Yeah. I okay. don't like dark skin girls. Okay. Yeah. That's like a lot of people. Right. Now people are saying coming at because you're dark That's yourself. The <coughs> mm-hmm. Would you want to elaborate on that? Mm. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> no. You're gonna have to make. Yeah, because he's saying end of the day, it's like self hate. That like, people saying it's self hate. Yo, you got mother. What about your mummy, sister? Blah blah blah. You're okay. saying that they're not attractive. Da 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 da. Whatever. And he say, "Look, it's my preference. It's my preference. Yeah, I can't. My preference. Yeah, can't help it. But should should if that's your preference, should you be so open about your disdain, disdain for others? Of no, our no. I don't. I what don't do you have to say. Here, yeah, go on. Do you want to say what you want? I say? honestly, uh, I don't like Kodak Black. Yeah, you don't, you don't like what? I don't like Kodak. I All think right. He's, okay. I think, you know what I mean? But at the same time, I think if you got those preferences, I think." Coming out as a black man going against yourself, yeah, which is saying he's, he don't like black women, which, mm. as as D man said, was hold on a minute, your mum's black, your sisters are black, mm. you don't like black girls. Mm. That's fine if you have a preference, mm. but when you say black, when when it goes against the uh, black man getting against a black woman, there's always gonna be controversy. He can say you don't like Italians, Asians, it wouldn't even be so bad yeah. because there's always been this divide between. Black, uh, between within our own within culture, the community, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Black and black, it's obviously had a bigger impact. No one's saying, bro, you can like who you want, but I think with a comment like that, that's something you need to keep to yourself. Yeah, bearing think... in mind, obviously, what's going on in the media right now. That's exactly what they're pushing for. To be, to be, right. to be, exactly to be honest, one thing is that even if he does like that, what was the reason for him to post it? Is it? Is it? To, I don't know. Someone asked him. Or, or did he, Did he want a reaction? Or is he secretly camered? Or I don't know why. Why is it? It's ignorance, isn't it? It's, 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 it's not. No. It's so you know, spur of the moment. They don't know. They don't know nothing. Though. Yeah, but why is it that? Because if a white man likes a black black women, yeah, mm. he will never really go against white girls. That's and it. Say, mm-hmm. Why is it that black men who like white girls or light girls or light girls, whatever, have to, to diminish the other side or their own yeah but white girls do it as well yeah sometimes that's white true girls, that white is true white girls yeah, sometimes yeah, say hello guy with no, black men sometimes yeah. regularly no but that's generalising that's, that's yeah. generalising yeah. yeah. regularly no that's generalising the well, majority of them do bro that's because they're they talking to you bro they're talking to you keep anyway what I'm saying is like what difference in the, the white man and the black man? That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. why is it that a white man who likes black girls doesn't have to? He won't, he won't even say he mention white girls. He'll just say, yeah. "Yeah, I listen. I like chocolate. That's yeah. it." That's, that's what I feel like. 
I like chocolate. It's like, bro, that's a bit. But anyway, that's another story. But also, on the flip side, then, why is it that if a black guy likes a white girl, he automatically just likes white girls in the eyes of people? Why is it that? I think that's only in the eyes of black women. Well, there's a common thing here about black women just coming up everywhere at the moment. The black guy that's a white girl, yeah. <laughs> he just basically, to a black woman, be like, oh man, you're just like, you, you want some white girl thing. Is it because they feel what? threatened? Is it yes. Because, yeah, right. that's what I'm trying to get to. Threatened to his. or just pissed off? Threatened and pissed off. Well, threatened and pissed off, because if you think about <laughs> it, the more, if a, white, if a black guy likes or is with a white girl, she's seen, she's seen it as well. We're not good We're enough. Not good enough. Someone, someone said something good. I think it was Chris Rock years ago. He said something. One of the reasons why black women get so pissed that white um, black brothers like white girls, because they don't feel the same way about white men. Right. So when the black man's f- loving off the white girls, it's not like they turn to a white man and love them off as well, because they just don't feel the same. They're not that attracted to white guys. So it's an imbalance, basically. Yeah. Which, yeah. Is, which is fair enough. Which is fair enough. But. Do you, do you think sometimes it could be that like Kodak's had maybe some bad experiences with black women and then that's why he's lash- he's got the opportunity now, he's become a big man and he's lashing out, that kind of thing? No. There's too many, yeah, there's too many, there's too many incidents yeah. like this where people say they don't like black you girls. Yeah, but it's always, it's always race, people that have become suddenly in, in popular. every single race, yeah, they all, to the, to the most part, yeah. stick with mm-hmm. with their race, yeah, yeah. To the most part, yeah. So you got Asians and Indians, they yeah. tend print tend to Chinese tend to every like whites. Yeah, that's most. They, yeah. they tend to, whereas that's not the case with blacks. No, but I disagree because this is this is what we're shown. Yeah, yes. the majority of black people are in same, with black same people. Yeah, country, yeah. Uh, cultural relationship. It's just because you know, people are. Like, yeah, yeah. We're not talking about, we're no, 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 they said 95% of black men are with black women in America. No, I don't know. I don't no, it's, it's, just a, it's just it's that you see, it's, you it's see the famous, you see like famous footballers. I think that's right. I think that's you see right. NBA right. players, you All see right. actors. Right. And when the, okay. some of them... So, how many footballers are married to white women? Not dating, married to white women. You can't name that many. Mm. You can't. I think mm. you find that the, the, uh, the, the percentage in America is going to be higher. Oh yeah, it will be higher. It will be higher. But at I the same think, time, even over here... Even though it will be, there'll be more percentage of way more interracial. Yeah. yeah, but then it will still be less than people, black guys with black women. So your point about well, them- remember we're only looking at London. Yeah, and London is is very mixed. All, all yeah, everyone's with mixed. everyone. Yeah. Go outside. It's not like that. It's not like that. I guarantee it's not like that. The majority of black. Men are with black women. Okay, so you're talking about the image you, that we're seeing. Right, you were talking about the footballers and the actors. What's the percentage of them with the, with their own race, or is that well, a different it's percentage? In America, the yeah. actors is black. Okay. The, 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 the most, if you think the most successful uh, black men, yeah. they were black women. Okay. Yeah. But you're saying when it when over they, here, yeah, probably different. All right. It is probably different. I I, I probably admit that. But I don't know. But I don't know too many black actors. Right? Okay. Or the footballers. If you go to the footballers. Yeah. Marriage wise. Yeah. They were black women. Okay. Yeah. And but dating wise. Dating when you're on that raven scene, all those things. Just wanna, hey, just is, wanna... it, is it really serious? Whatever, whatever. Like you know. So is it is it that like the the white women are more approachable? Rather than the black women, and that's why they they're mostly with white women when it comes what? to the dating side of things. Yeah, like when you go raving and stuff, do they feel that the white the white girl is more pro- approachable or easy? Is the old or old school term that 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 stereotype still exists? Yeah, that white girl exactly. Easy. Yeah. yeah, easier. Yeah. I remember that back in the day. Let's be real. Uh, yeah. Is it a stereotype or is it the truth? Because mm. I believe it's the truth. Well, let's yeah. be real. Okay. Yeah. Let's be honest. Yes, let's let's come on. Let's start. 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 let us Black guys all work out programmed that what because of that, they're not going to coach the black girls. They're not. <laughs> yeah. Because I guarantee, I guarantee, girl, females are females, bro. Don't get me wrong. They, you, there are black girls that are loose, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah standard, 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 standard. Not even loose, they're out for a good time. You go to rave, you see a black girl and a white girl hmm. who are both 
Same kind of looking, average looking, yeah, whatever. Yeah. You want to go to the white girl. Yeah. You immediately think, right. The black girl's going to slap me up. There, yeah, it? exactly. But I guarantee you, you put a bit more work in the black girl, you're still going to say that. Yeah, but that's girl, what bro. it is. The bit more work is what the guy doesn't want to do. No, but I'm talking about still get the same night. I'm not talking about take numbers and, and work it on the phone and talk yeah. about that same night. Yeah. Wow. If the girl wants to do a thing, she's going to do a thing regardless, bro. <laughs> like, maybe, maybe black girls could care about their image a, a lot more. But if you go to like the, the hoods and that, you get the same skits. If you, black, bro, yeah, if you go to the, yeah, it's yeah, some places you go, you go hood. That's what I'm saying. But they right. don't want those hood. If, they don't want if, those if hood you rats. Ali, you had you had a you had an African brother and a Jamaican brother, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there will be no there will be no arguments about the black and white because the African guys are over the black girl. Let's be honest. Bro, which one, bro? If this was ten years ago, I said yes, bro. Bro, African guys no. run it, bro. I'm telling you, when it comes to getting the white girl, bro. These African brethren, no, brother. I disagree bro, heavily, bro. Because of the likes of Stormzy, Tiny Temper, all them brothers there, they're all African. They yeah, but, yeah, but they, they see black, bro. They ain't seen African. Bro, I keep saying, they they the last, we listen, we the last one that I spoke to, yeah, about, she got, and she said to me, I, I don't want to go for black guys, I go for African guys. Bro, yeah, she's that's got that before. specific. Right, changed, where's bro. she from? Where's she from? Like, as in, what, 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 where is she? No, she was local, like, she was local. Right here. Yeah, yeah. So she's privy to. But if you don't think these, 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 I'm talking these about if you go to fucking somewhere like I don't know, wow, where's this what, probably be white? This district or something. Who? District. What do you mean? The areas that white yeah, areas. Yeah, I'm talking about white areas. Right? Oh, sorry. I don't know, but I'm sorry. They they see a black you, guy, fam. They see a black guy. Don't mention with the black guy to the clean up more than African guy. No, I'm, I'm talking about in terms of if you go to a club. Yeah. Then, well, in my experience anyway. Yeah. My African brethren ain't looking at no white girls, fam. They're getting for the black girls, fam. In a club? I'll be one hundred and fifty percent. Hold on. All of my African friends are all with black girls. Every single. Hold on. So when I when I white, I'm with them. Yeah, but no, no. Bro, but when you go raving, bro, you don't bro. see these things. Wait, wait, wait. African brothers swarming the place, bro. Darren, you also see the Jamaicans swarming the place. Bro, they've been, I don't no, wait, see wait, wait. Jamaicans, bro. <laughs> wait, listen. Are you telling me when a white girl sees you in a club, she can tell if you're African no, or Jamaican? No, 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 no. A lot of the times they can't tell them. No. So but, why don't you just pretend to be African? Why would I want to do that? <laughs> <laughs> you're a weirdo. <laughs> you're a bitch. Because <laughs> if you're saying that they're specific... I'm not pissed about it, but I'm married. I don't care. <laughs> oh, yes. but, what I'm saying is, when you go to the clubs, yeah, these African brothers are on these white chicks, bro. Don't get it twisted. But not bro. just... They're not, not just chicks, bro. They're yeah. not... But we just said that every every brother is doing that anyway, not just no, Africans. he's saying that... When you go to but the his, 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 he said his, his, the, the African brothers that he's around or in, all, or in his circle. No, I'm saying... That's, all I'm, that's what, yeah, that's that's what, what he sees. Mean, but I agree with you. Africa. Nowadays, yeah. 10 years ago, whatever, yeah. that African wouldn't have happened. Nowadays, there. African guys, they they're are cool now... They're cool, They want to join they in want, on the fun. They want to join in on the fun, man. If you go anywhere out of London, the African brothers are on these white chicks. Yeah. Well, That's what I'm saying. But what black guy isn't when they go out what guy? What guy is it? What guy? A Chinese guy wants a white girl. That's what, Every girl yeah, guy wants a white girl. Where? Where? What? What? Where? A Chinese guy. Where? Yeah, don't get it twisted, fam. Yeah, they, they're they're on it, bro. They're on it. Los Angeles, that's all you see. Bro. Yes. You get me? You go to LA. That's, I'm not talking right. no smack, cause I'm telling you that for a fact. Do, do, you go to LA, cause them North Koreans are on these white things. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> so we're all on these white things. Exactly. Yeah, the whole fucking that's human race is on these white things. Yeah, that's we what need, we're saying. We need more white girls. That's all it is. Oh, fucking hell, bro. Z-Man said that, yeah. Get him. But yeah, he, you know what he's... He's that's what, he's, You know what your dad expects you to bring home, that, innit, bro? No, you don't never watch that. Every um, podcast. Is love racist thing, yeah? But they were talking about the demographics of that, what people are attracted to or whatever. Mm. Asians get no love, bro. Uh, <laughs> what do you mean? Wait, what do you mean? No love Look, for who? Oh, listen, from, 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 listen. From white oh, wait, wait, wait. Africans just come on now, yeah? Ten years ago, they didn't. We come <laughs> after Africans. Give it ten years, we will get love as well. Think, yes, it's not yes, happening, bro. bro. What do you mean it's, it's not happening? You don't got it. There's a comment you comment, bro. Yeah? You not only got it recently, bro. Last ten black, years. Black, bro. African Jamaicans are black, bro. White girls like black guys, bro. Asian guys. Nah, no, nah, 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 they, they, nah, nah, nah. No, the bro. next generation will get it. Trust me. Are you mad, bro? Have we got the likes of Jay Sean? It took Africa twenty years, bro. Jay Sean. Yeah. How much Jay Sean been out, black? <laughs> Bro, really? you've not been here before us, though, <laughs> innit? That's what I'm saying. They've been here before mind, us. Bro, we took Africans 20 years to get this kind of hype, bro. Okay. Yeah? It's going to take you a lot longer than 10 years, bro. I'm telling you, bro. If All right, ever, let's see, let's see. If ever. Bro. What do you mean, if ever? You still got hope, though. You, you still got hope. But why? <laughs> bro, 
They have the kid that girl that kid in the freaking coat, bro. You ain't seen what they're doing in Leeds and them things there, bro. No, bro. Asian. Why am I coming out with you lot then? Asian and the Because you take the black girls still. He thinks all the girls are going to go out anyway. Because we need to make sure we can get in the club and not get the club. That's what it's going to be. If that had been, I would have been all right. Yeah. That's right, lads. Asian's coming. They're coming. No, but. Asian and Latino newlyweds are more likely to marry outside of their race or ethnicity than black and white newlyweds. Okay. Hmm, there you go. Wrapped up. All right. Uh, yeah, cool. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how trusted this source is, but that's what they're saying. Well, where'd you get for? What's the source? <laughs> His brethren. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? You get me. Look at the white guy, Jesus. <laughs> they're taking Why? Like a serial killer. <laughs> White guys are fighting back though, they're taking black girls now. Which means oh, fighting bro. back! <laughs> Which means fighting back, there's no war! Like it's an epidemic, fuck it up. Man said fighting back, you know! <laughs> right, First of all, what like do you mean by that? Second of all, second of all, second of all what you, where are you seeing this evidence from? There ain't any three white guys with a black on, girl. Jordan, bro. help me out, he's seen it. He's seen it. No, I've seen it more. Actually, no, he's right. I've seen it on more YouTube. and more. On YouTube. YouTube is fucking ridiculous, <laughs> man. Every fucking couple you see, bro, it's a white dog with some black girl that thinks he's wet. Nah, bro, fuck it, bro. Actually, she's dark, bro. She's fucking yeah, yeah, black, bro. Yeah, yeah, she's fucking black, bro. She's fucking black, bro. She's fucking black, bro. She's fucking black, bro. She's fucking black, what? She like blonde hair or something? A black girl with blonde hair. Really dark. I sent you a picture of that today. Just stop talking. What is this guy up with Just stop talking. What are you doing? What is that one? You're one of the doctors. Come on, bro. Love it, bro. That was the best, bro. We'll put that in the GH I'm talking about a proper glammed up, dark Barbie doll kind of thing, bro. Mm. Like, could do with, with some of that. With white guy in that. Well, could do with some of that. They vlog, innit? They're they, they vloggers. What a soul, man. All right, so what was it? It's a white guys. Black girls only like the typical, like the David Beckham, mm. Justin mm. Timberlake. The ones from Love Island, Oops. those type, those type nah, of guys. What's that? Actually, no, there's a couple in the day that they mm. like. But, um, so that, that black brother on Love Island? Marcel. Is he a proper bounty? He's in the sun. No, he's not. He, oh, he's, okay. he's grown on people still, but... He's in the sun. He's, 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 he's a dickhead. That's <laughs> what is he? He's he he in the sun. You know what it is? Get out! <laughs> nah, he's Get out! <laughs> Do you talk about Marcel? Yeah, he's getting mugged off by Gavin, isn't it? He's getting mugged off no, by Gavin. No, he Gavin. isn't. Nah. He is, bro. She don't like him, bro. She yeah, don't really like him properly, bro. But everyone loves him, bro. He, he would have won if he, was a, if he was with another girl, bro. But that's a different story, man. Love Island's a different story, but... Yes, yeah, so we're All right, on. So what what were we saying about Kodak Black? He had shouldn't have said that, yeah. I think keep your preferences to yourself, and it's alright having a preference. Yeah, but if someone asks you, you're gonna you're when, gonna answer. You know, when you're oh, when you're black, black when you're black. Okay, so you should have yeah, said it in a better way. You can't be out there. Yeah, dissing your dissing your own. Of, 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 of saying you've yeah, got yeah, a preference. You're representing, innit? Yeah, you're, you're, you're representing your community. Your, your race. Don't go and diss them. Or your That's what culture. You're not representing my community. Uh, yeah, well, me neither. Yeah. So who's he representing? Himself. Coons. Coons. Yeah. Coons in himself. Well, he's never a coon because he, like, he said he likes light skin girls. He said he likes light skin girls. Ah, okay, there you go. But, yeah, no, right. but you can't dish your own complexion. Yeah, yeah. You think about all the kids that are looking up to Cody yeah, Black yeah, that are dark skin yeah, yeah. and going to be like, rah, he don't even Serious like comment. his own self. How much, yeah, you know, that, yeah. you just kill the self-esteem of the youth, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Is that self-hate? Yeah. Yeah. I probably unknownly self-hate. Yeah. But self-hate he nonetheless. He the black from his name. That's what he used to do. He needs to use some whitening cream or something, bro. Just call yourself Oh, I saw that the other day, you know. What, whitening cream? The whitening cream. Big epidemic in Jamaica. It was on. Oh, my God. Asians do it. Who's that American brother they showed? Oh. What's his name? No, he's a Cuban. Oh, you mean Sammy Sosa, Sammy the Sosa. baseball player? Yeah. He looks like a ghost. Oh, he looks like a man. clown. A he shame. was brown, like brown, probably a bit darker than you, maybe yeah. my complexion. He looks completely white now. Yeah. Pale. Like Pale. proper white. That like, white's cartoon, isn't it? Well, did, you see that, did you see that white woman, that model with the big tits? You put that tan on to make herself look black. Mm-mm. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You must have seen that. She looks dead. Bro, talking about a no, tan or her breast? No, bro, everything. Okay, okay. Dead, okay. Bro, I thought she just yeah, tanned her breast. She wanted to be black, so she decided to put this tan on you, inject into yourself. Inject? So you inject Lord. it in oh, and allow it. turns your skin literally like black, but it just looks so stupid. Why are like, people so dumb, man? I don't get me. it. Did you say white people are so dumb? No, no why? 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 Come on, bro. What is going on with this? We can't even plug this podcast. Yeah, I know. I'm just checking. <laughs> I don't, don't think he's going to say that, bro. <laughs> we might need to play that back just to double check. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, yeah. Uh, okay. This is a general question now, yeah, because I saw it on social media, yeah, <coughs> where someone said, um, 
your soulmate doesn't have to be someone that you're romantically, physically involved with. Do we agree with that? Huh? Uh, what does soulmate mean? Because could soulmate mean like your best friend? Like as in, say as is my best friend, we like have all the same likes. We, yeah, got, we like to play we... FIFA. Does that mean soulmate? No, no. not in that respect. But that's okay. a bit. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? <laughs> 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 that's yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's no, what I was clarifying. No, no. Ah, okay, yes, yeah. For, for yeah. This, um, uh, opposite sex, isn't it? Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wake up, there, bro. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So there's no, there's no physical relationship there. There's no romantic, there, but you pop a vibe and what? Can can you have that kind of soulmate connection too? No. no. I don't even get the question, bruv I don't even get. Can the your question. soulmate be someone you're not romantically or physically involved with? No. So no. how are they your no, soulmate no. then? Yeah, well, there you go. Then it isn't for you. Then it isn't. So soulmate has to be love. Yeah. Like you say. Yeah. But can't you love someone really as hard as a best friend? How can you love someone and not want to bang them? <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> You're so basic, man. Back what goes through your mind through the day, bro? Oh, it's like, not. I like it though. No, it's mean, super back, real, man. Back, back me up, bro. Back me up. No, I like it still. Thank you. Need this guy. You like it, but he can't back you up, bro. No, I can back you up. Still, <laughs> I'm not paying to. I'm gonna let you sink on this. Go on, go on. What? Keep going. What do you mean? All right, bro. So you're in love. So your soulmate. Yeah. Opposite sex. Yeah. And you love them. Yeah. Okay. So but, say that again. Yeah. No. Say that again. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So your soul, your soul, yeah, soulmate, opposite sex, yeah. and you love them. Yeah. What's? Can you not what, love what, them what is there left? As a really good friend. Can you not love them not romantically? Yeah, but then I, I don't think then they're you your soulmate. Your soul, then they're not so. Then they're not your soulmate. So your soulmate, soulmate is like proper love connection and everything. But when you've got all those feelings, obviously you, you want to take it a step further. If you're saying, can your soulmate be someone that you're not romantic, you know, you're romantically involved with. If you've had sex with them in yeah. the past yeah. and you've done all the action and everything yeah. and you're not attracted to them anymore, they can still be your soulmate. That's what I think. So you might have had a romantic past, but then, you, you know, you don't have you're that attraction. You're saying you have to have sex with a person. At least once. In order for them to say that. <laughs> right. So, okay, yeah. well, get it out of the way. Get it out of the way. Yeah. It's like you, you was with your soulmate. Yeah. Something happened you and you stay separated together. Wait, so you and you moved on and you can't be with them. But you they, was with them. They're still but your, they're still your soulmate. Yeah, you you're love still, them to bits. You know what I mean? You're still like that, but it's just something happened and you moved on yeah. and separated. And you just don't you have that sexual like that attraction. Sex. Huh? Can't be, I'm saying, I'm asking you. Can't I don't, I don't think so. I reckon, I, I don't think you, you had. You're probably saying that they, they had you, sex you back You would have had your romantic time fling, yeah. it, might, it might not have been fling you might have been with them for five years yeah and then you amicably broke up yeah and the, but you said you know what i still love you to bits and everything but we're not good for each other as a as a relationship but uh, th- so then they can still be your soulmate then right. that's how? what i think no i think yeah even how because it because you still love them to bits you still respect them you've got all those memories and everything but you just don't want to have sex with them or you just or you don't want to be in a relationship. Or you can't, or you can't be. You can't or be. Or you can't be. Yeah. For some reason, there's something you can't that's be. just not clicking. Yeah, or maybe not clicking. Something happened and you just can't be with or that person. You can't person. let go yeah. of that thing. You yeah. moved away, maybe. Yeah. So then, yeah. how was that your soulmate? Because surely soulmate means. No, because but, what might happen is you might move on in life, but you can't get that connection with, say, your your current wife. But that's fucked, bro. You might meet, all right. Another no, it's way, not another, fucked. Another it's way not of fucked. putting it. Fuck you, got flies on my back, bro. Another way of putting it, right? Let's say you're with your soulmate, yeah? Mm. And you go to jail. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. yeah? All right? That's 10, 20. Listen, 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 listen. Before you get into the, 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 the savagery, yeah? <laughs> You go to jail for 10, 20 years, yeah? You got a new soulmate. You come soul out, <laughs> listen, <laughs> you come out, looking for a yeah. new soul, but she's married, yeah? yeah? She could still be your soulmate, yeah. it's just that time's passed, yeah. and that's what you're, you're, you're not... Soulmate loyal, bro, that's what you're basically saying. Soulmate say loyal. So, <laughs> so that's, that's what, that's what, I'm, that's what so, I'm trying to say. Uh, so your soulmate's a hoe. I know one. No one. Why she got a hoe? Why she got to be a hoe when you, your ass is in jail? I'm an awesome. We're going to wait for 20 years. <laughs> you know? No, what about, yeah, if you have, I don't know when it... I don't think anyone else here has, but a female best friend. Yeah. I haven't got a female best friend. Lies. Well, I, that's, that's, lies. Yeah. I, I got female. I've got, 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 got a female like, best friend. I've got a Look at everyone's <laughs> eyes. <laughs> Have you smashed? No. Have you tried to? No. Would you? you would you? No. Would you? Would you? Would you? No. Would I? No. I'm Bro, I'm calm down, mate. No, I'm you said no to everything, but you panicked a bit. No, no, no. Take away marriage, would you bang it? Yes. 
Yes, there you go. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. No, no, no. You know what that look that, is? That, 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 you know what that, you know that look is? Boy, if I had a half a bit of a Kennedy in me, boy, I'd run <laughs> through it. I'll tell you exactly what that look was. That look was hmm, condom or no condom. That's what that look was. Back Obama. Back Obama. You know what? I'm taking it from the perspective. Let's be honest. You're taking it from the perspective. No, no, listen. Here's what I'm saying. Here's what I'm saying. As men, yeah, we know that. 90% of the time, if you're in a particular situation with a female and she tries it, yeah. you're going to have it. Yeah. Yeah? That's what I'm thinking of. I so can't lie. Not, not saying I will lose it or sh- whatever. It, Look, I've, I've told you that in the previous podcast. He's trying pod- to let I'm, down that disclaimer before he goes under the bus, you know. No, but, no, but I believe, I've said in the previous pod, I don't think a girl and a guy can ever be friends. <coughs> you always Sorry. think there'd be yeah. some sexual tension by one of them. You just yeah. think you're my best friend? Huh? So he's trying to bang her. Yes, uh, <laughs> you yeah. female best friend? I do. So you want to bang her? No, I have banged her in the past. There you go. Then how oh, you're a scumbag. Friend? You are a scumbag. She's a beat, bro. <laughs> a former beat. That's, that's, that's your friend. No, so but I just, I just explained that. No, Someone can be your soulmate that you've had no, sex with in the past. I've already no, said that. It's your ex link, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. So, all right, so, that can't be a best friend now. No. I'm saying it can't be a best friend, but I'm saying it's no, she can't. Right. What? Do you mean why? Why? Because you've slept with her, yeah? No, there's right. no rule for that, man. Thing. <coughs> you've conquered her. <laughs> so, what's that got to do with it? Not even though I have it. <laughs> you um, just want to keep the trophy in the cabinet, innit? That's all it is. No, but nah, seriously, no, if, if, a, if a guy and a girl are best friend, yeah. yeah so they, they, they have the same kind of interest, yeah. they vibe, whatever, whatever. He hasn't smashed it, whatever. Yeah, but given a situation... No, forget given a situation. <clears throat> like, they haven't smashed. Okay, yeah. that doesn't. but that comes back to his point that who says that one of them wouldn't want to? Forget them. Forget if they want to or not. They're okay. not going to. Okay, yeah? all right. Can they not be... Because they're not romantically involved. They're not physically involved. Okay. Can they not be soulmates? No. Why? No, 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 man. Why? <clears throat> Soulmate is the love of your life. The yeah. person that you're destined... Destined. Destined, yeah. Destined. From God, man. To spend the rest of your life with. Yeah. That's it. That's what a soulmate yeah, is. Yeah, that's what we try to say there. The a definition soulmate is of soulmate. Whatever it is you're yeah. talking about. Yeah, we've I'm got... I'm not saying it's not... <laughs> it, it, I'm not agreeing with it or not. I'm yeah, saying, no, no I'm but just, yeah, that's what it is. We, I think all three of us believe it, that a soulmate <laughs> is who you're destined with, who you love, who you want everything to do with. So that's why you would want to get romantically involved with them. Right, okay. Whether that stays for the rest of your life, that's what I'm trying to say. It might not be for the rest of your life, but... <laughs> You, at that time you believe they're your soulmate and probably in your next relationship if someone ever asked you'd be like yeah she was, the love, she was the love of my life yeah I do I do believe, believe in soulmates, in soulmates? Yeah. Um, yeah I don't believe everyone will always find their soulmate but I, I do definitely believe do you believe, believe in that it. there's one true love for everybody yeah I believe in that uh, do you believe in soulmates I believe soulmates yeah I do why don't, why don't you believe because if 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 I for instance I believe that Obviously, I'm destined to love my wife, yeah, and whatever, whatever. If she passes, on a put this way, if I pass away, yeah, mm-hmm. I can't expect her to not love again ever. Yeah, but no, say love, soulmate, and love is very. No, no, I said that yeah. I agree with soulmate thing. I'm okay, just, I, I threw a different thing. Out All right, there. yeah, the love thing, like that doesn't mean that I'm destined to be the love of her life forever. Because if I pass, mm. chances are she's gonna go meet somebody else and fall in love again at her age. Yeah. What do you mean? So is that oh, is that now? No, no, he meant but she passed away today. How do you know she won't, she'll love the other person as no, much you don't as know. you? You don't know she might, she might love the person, but yeah, she so might love the person it's, it's, it's 70%. Love, yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, but she love you 100%. And no one can replace you, but she can love again. It just won't be the highest but percentage that, that she No, but the you. interesting question is that if she loved again, could she love someone more than she loved the original? That's, that's quite interesting. That could actually happen. You might end up loving them. No, I, 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 I don't think no, so. I'm not saying you can't. I'm just mm. saying in, for his, for his yeah. argument that if he was to pass and Laurel's, Laurel's to come available... That I don't see her loving someone as much as she loved him. Yeah. Rega- regardless if it's love or not, I'm just talking in percent percentage yeah. state. That was a bit of a G, innit? Of course. <coughs> but anyway, so, all right then. So, the other question was your situation, you said you've got this for your best friend, yeah? Yeah. That yeah. you've banged already. That you, all right, yeah, that you've banged already. Yeah. How did that come about in the first place? Sorry to cut you. What do you mean? Tied her up, threw her down, and like, slipped how, it in. How, how did you end up? having sex with your best friend. Was you seen her at the time? Was it friends and then time just happened and whatever, whatever? Um, we weren't best friends at that point. So we were friends. Then we went out 
and then we broke up, but then we became best friends. I know it's so she was right. your ex. Yeah, yeah. So your ex is your best friend. Yeah, no, no. yeah. <laughs> Must have it. But okay, that so, doesn't run. Right? No, it doesn't usually that run. I know run. it's not usually right. run, but but now say a year or two from now you get married. Mm-hmm. Do you drop your best friend? Yes. I w- I wouldn't drop my best friend, but but yeah, I'd cut off. Where's the respect for your wife? No, but I'd cut off a lot of links with them, like how much we chat and everything. I'd do all that for the respect of. I wouldn't drop them completely. If your wife said she wanted to drop her. Not even for the respect of your wife. No, if the wife said drop her, then yeah, I would. Why wouldn't you do it in the first place, though? Huh? Why wouldn't you show the respect and do it for your wife in the first place, though? Because I, I don't have no feelings towards this Doesn't person. Doesn't matter. You slept with her. So you drop everyone you sleep with when you've you got a girlfriend? To. You have to. You might as well leave your f- you might as well burn your phone, bro. I ain't slept with you, though, have I? <laughs> We're talking about females only, I'm sure. Right, well, I'm not sitting here proclaiming to have their female friends, am I? Oh, okay. There you go. You're right. the one that's sitting there chatting about, oh, I've got a female best friend, but you've had sex with her, so why would you talk to her if you had a wife? But I just, I just, I just said I'd cut it down, like to literally no, not, not cut talking it down. All right, brother, look her off. Oh, look her off. Oh, you happy? Oh, oh. Yeah, she's got to go. What's wrong with you? Alright, cool. She's gone. Right. She's like gone. Got no fucking manners, you know. Engineer. Engineer. He looks upset. You got? A, have you got a close female friend? <sighs> no. You haven't banged. Nope. <laughs> He's just got beat. No. Not by Doctor Dre. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, like, I've got a female friend. Just right. one, bro. Yeah, but right. I don't know if she's more family friends so or... Yeah, right. she's, she's your, she's no. your cousin, uh, bro. Have you... Tr- oh, who? Don't even be angry. Who? <laughs> I'm asking, who? Anyway, you know me yeah. with family names, I don't know. Right. With the family, so that's not tried to. No. no. Have they tried to? No. That's friends, isn't it? That's what my mother's like. Yeah, right, so friend. when you get married, yeah. all the relationships still stay the same. The level of contact that you have with these people, then yeah, because they're just friends. Right. They're friends. But this ain't a soulmate thing, isn't it? It's not. He's not saying they're friends. soulmates. Just female. Yeah, this just, just female friends. They're just female. Gone a bit off. Well, yeah, we just, <laughs> just kind of put him on the spot for no reason. And you, yeah, said you would, look, you wouldn't lock unless <laughs> your wife said so. You'd yeah, cut it down. yeah, I'd cut, I'd cut it down naturally. So you continuously disrespecting her until she said that. It's How am I right. disrespecting by talking to you're talking to, to a best girl, mate, yeah. she's not your best mate because you've had sex with her and men and women, as you, you believe said, in that? cannot be friends. You said that. You said men and women can't be friends. <laughs> you fucked up. Yeah, I know. You said they can't <laughs> so Why are you then going to talk to her when you have a wife? No, because I know personally that I don't have no sexual attraction. Marriage. I don't have no sexual attraction no, to that girl did. now. No, you did. I did, yeah, you in did. the past, yeah, but all not right. now. All right, no, but that's all that matters. Would you have a problem with your missus talking to a guy that she has sex with when that's her friend? Yes, of course. You're a dickhead. So that's super critical, isn't it? I know. <laughs> He's I'm okay not, with that. I'm not saying you don't have a problem with it. He doesn't. I'm not he saying doesn't. I'm not a hypocrite, <laughs> but I know myself that I don't, I'm not going to go there, but I don't that's know how right. that guy would be with my wife. That's what I'm trying to be. But then your wife is strong enough not to... No, she ain't. Let's be real. <laughs> <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> cool. So you said... We all agree that, obviously, that soulmates have to be someone that you're... Yep, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely. With, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, okay. If anyone thinks any different, get in touch with us. Fix that. <laughs> right. Anyway, what do we agree on? <laughs> I don't think I agree. I don't think I agree. No, that so your soul- soulmate can be someone that you're not... <coughs> are you saying your soulmate can be someone that you're not physically, romantically involved with? At that current moment, No, yeah. wait, wait, don't say at any point, because then you're at covering it. Yeah, yeah, you're covering... Point. You're covering all angles. Yeah, male, female, best friend. No, no, we're talking about at any point that you've ever been romantically involved with them. Like my situation, basically. What well, about the, the, the theory I you stuck out? If you was in jail, went to jail, and they moved on. Yeah, you they see. They could still be your soulmate. They could still you be just, your soulmate, situation yeah. Situation happens. That's what happen, we're trying to say. You, right. So that's all I'm saying. Do you, do you think that you can have a soulmate if you've never Yeah, that's that's what, that's the question. Yeah, I don't think so. Very, very. Rude. I don't know. You know, you get people that that say. I know what you're saying. Right. And yeah. you know, I don't, right, don't want to ruin a friendship. All right. Can you? Whatever. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Is there anyone that yeah. you could give an example of that? I know what you're saying, and that's why I'm finding it hard to answer. Yeah. Because I impressive. feel I can say yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But you can't. I feel I I have a strong. I think it's possible. I I, I feel it's, it's very, for me it's a strong yes. Rare. Yeah. Yes. For me, it is. It's a yes, you can. 
and you're not with them. Yeah. Is there any examples that anyone's got? No. <laughs> Move on. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Alright, cool. Next topic, man. Alright. So moving on now. We all know Jay-Z dropped his latest album, 444. Mm. Yeah. No, I didn't know. When did that come out? Does anyone know what that means? What's June that mean again? 444? 444 is the title track of the tune that he made when he confessing that he cheated on Beyonce, basically. Mm. Allegedly. Well, he said he did. Yeah, so <laughs> that's just for sales. That's just for sales. Wait, 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 wait. He said, he said, yeah. He woke up. This is what I don't believe. He woke up at four forty-four. Slip, slip, talk. No, and, and the, the rhymes came to his head, and he thought, "I need to record it." Blah blah. So he June put- is four forty-four uh, long. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why. So it. basically, this is what happened. He just got home from um, Becky's house. Yeah. Washed his dick in a sink, Ooh. and then he come up with the lyrics. <laughs> say that like you've never done that, fam. Okay. Who has done? No, nah, anyway. Right, right, right. Because <laughs> I know I had never. Shut done. up. What, why are you washing the dick in the sink for? Mm, shut up. Because you don't want wifey to smell it when you get in the bed. Oh. Why have you washed the dick in the sink before? Well, kitchen. Kitchen. He said he did it in the kitchen sink once. <laughs> no, you did in one of the podcasts. I will go and find it. Please do. All right. When you don't, you can publicly apologize. Okay. So have you done it before? No. Okay. <clears throat> so. Um, Jumped in the shower straight after though. <laughs> Straight after what? 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 You're uh, saying you've never washed what? your thing in a sink? No, under no circumstance am I doing that. But I always do that. After we. <laughs> As it just takes it somewhere completely else, bro. I do. What? <laughs> what? After, after you take a fist, you yeah, wash your dick I, in the sink. I go over to the sink and I wash my willy. The fact that you called it willy. <laughs> You really are Asian, <laughs> isn't it? Revelations! What's the same thing? Bruv, you know you should do it for hygiene purposes. Uh, bruv, what do you do? What do you do? You just tap it and put it back in your boxes. I wash my hands. I'm, so, I'm not having a conversation about this. For fuck's sake. What is this? Hold on. Whoa, this is this guy's. Ready for a public toilet? What do you do? Bruv, you don't want to know. <laughs> I'm running to that sink, bro. I'm climbing in the sink. No, I don't climb, bro. In a public toilet, right? What do you do then after you've taken the piss? Uh, basically, in the gym, yeah? Yeah. The cubicles is right outside the sink. Oh, you do quick, take a quick look to the left or right. Just jump in the sink. No, jump in. Just literally grab some water and just put it on your what private you part. Go to? Huh? <laughs> what gym do you go to? What gym do you go to? Nuffield. How right. do you get to 444? Any, any, you think <laughs> Only others, isn't it? <laughs> so wait, no way. <coughs> you went toilet before this podcast. You was climbing in the sink. I don't climb in the sink, bruv. I get a bit of water and I wash it. So anyone that goes so Nuffield... I'm what? I'm, 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 I'm true. True. Any, any, anyone that goes Nuffield gym, yeah, don't use the sinks anymore. If you go Nuffield gym, don't use the sinks anymore. Because there's, there's man out here that are washing their dicks in the sink. We're, cut, we're kind of part. We're kind of part. What has this got to do with Jay-Z's album? Understand how we even got to that. No, oh, you! It wasn't oh. us, it was you! No, he said something about no. four. What were you saying? I said about cheating with Becky and he washed his dick in the <laughs> no, sink. Yeah, that's but it. I wasn't expecting you to say you really did that shit. <laughs> well, carry on, carry on man. Oh, wait. Can we cut this now, please? No. Alright, let's go, let's go. Right, so. Breaking <laughs> down the album here. Yeah? Right, first of all, the f- the 444 track was about him confessing that he cheated on Beyonce and how apologetic he was, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Whatever, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to be able to move on, are we? <laughs> uh, right, I don't know if anyone saw the footnotes. Did you see the footnotes? No. Basically, anyone see the footnotes? No. Right, basically, no, it's like no. an open session with all these, these, these black males talking about relationships and mm. how hard it's been talking about emotions and the, the cheating and whatnot whatnot and it's got a lot of i won't say praise but people are like raw well, you know it's good to see grown black men talking about it, being open about mm-hmm, their, mm-hmm. Their, their what do you call it um <clears throat> what finances and no, no, their, their their mistakes and their, okay. their flaws mm. as well as being emotional stuff like that yeah 
do you think, first of all, do you think there's a, not a problem, but do you think there's an issue with, especially black men, being that open about, especially amongst their peers, yeah. about their insecurities, <clears throat> The they were, they were, the yeah, because they they want to be known as strong, you know, strong well, we people were, that literally yeah, don't have yeah. any problems in life. I think as as men and partic- partic- particularly, particularly yeah. men of color, we're raised to almost have no emotions and no feeling. Right. So many of us go years and years with unresolved issues that we carry in, carry into our into our adulthood, and we don't know how to properly deal with them and, and express express ourselves. So for someone of Jay Z uh, stature to come out yeah. and express these things, it makes it easiest for people of Full his of generation and to to, to to show there's nothing wrong with with expressing yourself and articulating yourself and saying you have these whatever you know. Yeah, I think that's good. He's promoting. It's, it's it. 2017, man. We've got we've got yeah. to evolve. Would you look, ever consider going to therapy? Um, yes and no. Yes, because I probably need it, and no, I'm broke. <laughs> Sorry, would you consider going therapy? Would you ever consider going therapy? Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> I've gone anger management before. Yeah. And how did you find that? Like, what? what did, but it what, don't seem like it worked. <laughs> <laughs> In terms of what? <laughs> He's not slapping you now. <laughs> Means that right? It's working, bro. Not slapping. <laughs> <the shit. laughs> no, but like, would that would that beneficial for you? Yeah, and it's something that you would, you would, you would like. Not I'd recommend that more people did. Guys in general don't talk about their problems. Mm. Why is that? Because when he was growing up, <coughs> I, I'm I'm guilty of saying it to my son himself when he's crying. Why are you being a girl? Mm. Like man up, man don't up. cry. Like boys don't cry. Girls, like I've, I've that's said. It. That. Yeah, I yeah. still say I've it today. To be honest, and that's gonna that's gonna go and, on for the rest of mm-hmm. our lives. Do you understand? Like now we're getting into this thing where a lot of guys. Are um, they don't talk about their problems, whether it's depression, whether it's they're going through problems with their partner, like everyone just keeps it bottled up. No one talks about it, and it's it's down to how we was raised, and it's down to how we raise our children, mm-hmm, how mm-hmm. we still carry ourselves to this day. So I felt away about going anger management and going therapy. Like I, I, I felt away about it, but you shouldn't feel away because if you bottle it all up, yeah. it just turns into rage. Yeah. So do do you think? Are you more comfortable speaking to like a stranger, yeah, than to your boys about them, them kind of issues? I would rather yeah. discuss it with my boys. I'm not necessarily talking about you lot, yeah. but I, I would rather be able to have a conversation with someone that I know. But this thing, <coughs> called, this thing called life, everyone has their own problems. Yeah. <coughs> like anyone that says they don't don't have problems, they're lying, basically. Like you could come to me and talk to me about how you're going through real shit with your wife and like you're on the verge of breaking up, but little would they know that two months ago I was unemployed and I was homeless. Mm. Yeah. So everyone's going through their shit. So you may not have someone's full attention simply because of what they're, they're going on, through they're themselves. Problems, yeah. So maybe because you think or you feel or you know that you don't have a friend to talk to, you should definitely go and see a professional about it. Mm, mm. Your friends might have gone through similar shit, that's great, but if they're going through something themselves... They might not be, yeah, they might not be the best right people, people to yeah. talk to. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, pe- people should talk, you should talk to someone. But it comes yeah. back to Clint's point about it being so expensive as well that people people tend not to do it. No, but you know what I'm starting to realise? We're all investing in the wrong things. I'm not going to sit here again. You can go back to Jay-Z's album where he's talking about, you know what, you um, you know what's good instead of spending money on strippers, credit. Mm. Yeah, that's right. Spend it on your own life. We we, we spend money on a lot of consumers, um, a, 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 a lot of consumer stuff, but we, we don't invest in ourselves in terms of our health in terms of our body and to, to go and speak to someone where you can then have a clear mind and you can then feel better about yourself. Again, it comes down to your health and your mental state. Why yeah. not invest in that? Yeah, it's having the knowledge to know to invest in that as well. Yeah. Because if without someone of someone like Jay-Z Stature or other people in the community right. like that, we don't know that we can do that. We don't know who what, to turn to. Right. And, Where, that goes and a lot of that. us didn't grow up with role models and stuff, so right. it's, we don't know better. And that's what, that's a good point, because in the footnotes, he said something like, <clears throat> when he, I think, when he reconciled with his dad, mm-hmm. then he, he was like, right, I'm free to love now. But then, he's think, okay, how are you going to do it? Mm-hmm. There has been no one 
before just, you just exactly. shot you to do that. Like, but even when you're raised on the street and that, you've got these hustles that show you that, oh, hustling and blah, blah, whatever. So that they're like Superman, but with no emotion. So mm-hmm. no one shows you how no to, one shows to, you. To, to, to be free with your emotion, to be able to be a real man, to be a husband, to be a father, whatever. Mm-hmm. You kind of make up with your Exactly, off. exactly. And that's where mistakes make. Exactly. Make, basically, whatever. We get the blame for a lot of stuff, but we were never actually shown. Right. So we're learning as we go. And is that a particular problem in the black community? Because, yeah, it is. you it know, is. there's this thing that, it is. you know, absolute black fathers and, you know, yeah. <clears throat> men don't know, the fathers don't teach how to be a man and whatnot. Yeah, what it, is, it, is, it, is, it is. But then I saw a stat the other day to say that, I don't think it's in America, but they said, the, if it is, and it's it mentioned in the document, uh, the document I saw the other day, the black father <clears throat> are more... Yeah, I think I tweeted that to you. Te- or more involved in their, their kids, father's like, life. There was a bit of if you go through the thread, there was yeah. a bit of a minority. What, expe- what especially if they're separated? No, no, no just dad regardless. Black, black dad are okay. more yeah. involved yeah. their kids' life than the white guys. Like, yeah, they do I homework. That. They do homework. Them, reckon, take them no, to but school. <laughs> do, don't you think that that's probably because of the generation before? You've seen like all the split ups or the you know the, that thing about the bat father being absent. Right. So now the new generation yeah. want to do better. Like it goes two ways, isn't it? Because you can have because I always like, hear everyone saying, "Oh, well, my father did this, and I would never do." Yeah, my father. I would never be my father. But yeah. you also got the I'm just like my dad. Yeah, you fall into that habit of love, yeah, but yeah. you, know, you might take it easy way out, and you kind of understand why your dad did what he did. Not yeah, not sometimes. Way, but you yeah. Think, you know, whatever, whatever. also need to know the stats as well because a lot, a lot of the times in the media and stuff it's portrayed a certain way that mm. black fathers ain't around and they yeah. have you believing that there's no black fathers in right. the household but the actual numbers don't, don't tally, up. Up, to, yeah. tally up to That's that it. so it's kind of hard to understand you know what, what the actual truth is and where we are but that thing that I did tweet there was a lot of people going in the thread saying that's not actually true yeah. I didn't read further into it than that but they were saying basically that those statistics that are run yeah. are basically not you know, 100%. Okay. It hasn't taken into account all these yeah, other things. Yeah. So it's a bit misleading, but, you know, it was yeah. a good starting you know point what? anyway. I, I reckon it's a mix of things. So, like, if a kid if a kid doesn't have his father, Sorry. but he's got a good mother, yeah, so if, say, if it's, say if it's his son, right, yeah. and he, he hasn't got, his father's not around, yeah, so yeah. we're going to be like, okay, well, maybe he's, he'll be emotionally disturbed, but then his mum could make up for it by being, like, you know, a wonderful mother. And then it, I reckon it also goes with depending on the education he gets, the friends he gets, the people he meets as he gets older, he doesn't have to be messed up just because the yeah. father wasn't around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's a yeah. good point because, yeah. I, you know, to, to um, go personal, is my my wife and her brother grew up in the same household. I'm about to come to that. No, no father. <clears throat> he's way off the rails. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's better now, yeah. but he's like yeah, forty he something. Yeah. He's way off the road. My wife, straight and narrow. Yeah, exactly. He blames everything that happened to him on that his father wasn't around. Yeah. But she grew up in the same household, same situation. So she's like, how is it that you've got this big issue with mm, our right. father and all your problems stem from him? But we grew up in the same household and I haven't had that. I've just got on with life. And similar yeah, to that, so with my situation, like, my dad wasn't really around and he's, he left when I was 16 and that. But mm. my relationship with my dad is completely different to my brother's relationship to my, to my dad. Mm. Like... If you talk to my brother, yeah, he ain't got a dad. Yeah, yeah. yeah but if you yeah, talk to me, yeah. like, I understand, I understand certain things. I've got older, Why you did and my relationship has got stronger with my dad as I've got older. Mm. But it's, mm. it's, a, it's a case of how the individual interprets. Yeah, I think it's all about the individual and what you yeah. choose to do with that. Yeah, mm. yeah, but yeah. It's. I know you were touching on. Um, you said about Jay, the, the investing thing, whatever. The Jay Z thing is it something that was needed? Because a lot of people say it's something that was needed at this particular time in terms of like. Because he's an old, he's an old rapper. Yeah. People was thinking, you know, you're out of touch, blah blah. But he's talking about grown man things about mm-hmm. investing the black people investing in each other, um, being at through your emotions. He's come back with like an intelligent album, right. In a way, yeah. yeah. And a lot of people are saying, well, pe- rappers have been saying that for years, and yeah. blah blah. It's but needed someone. It needed someone, someone of Jay's like Jay's, Jay's stature. stature. Yeah. Yeah. Other people have been saying it for many years, and and it's gone. It's gone unheard. A lot of underground artists or whatever. And but they don't hit the levels that Jay Z does now. Yeah. For someone of Jay Z's level, who's been away for a long time as well, yeah. and obviously there's a whole bunch of new bucks that are supposedly running the game. For someone of Jay Z's level and age to come with an album like that yeah. is, is it's really good and exceptionally mm. good. Mm. What's your views on it? I think it's one of his best albums. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> there's definitely he- there's definitely growth on there. No ID was a very good choice as well. And the way you say, I think a lot of times you lot say that the new, the new generation, a lot of them haven't even heard his tracks, right? So I reckon that was a good way to show the new generation what he was about. 
yeah, as well. And, and he, he said a few things that, that struck a few nerves with the with some young, young rappers and some yeah. people took it as well. We on the ground holding money to your ear. This the is disconnect. We don't call, call that money over, over here. here. Which was a which is a great land, which is Atlanta. I home. think it, yeah, it, it points to this, this, the whole as 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 likes to blame the world on is that um that that social media trend, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even get to say it, and yeah. he finished it. So the yeah. album done well, but mm. I honestly don't believe the album is for young people, it's which is not, cra- it's which not. is crazy considering the streams and downloads that it's done. Yeah. There you go. But old I, people I are still represent. A lot of young people have taken things from it. Don't I don't think they can relate to a lot of it because like said, Jay's in a different space, <coughs> different age group, whatever, but it's made a lot of, not rappers, but young people think that, hold on a minute, maybe I need to be a bit more smart with my money. Maybe, mm. it's all right mm. buying and out, maybe I should be doing stuff a little bit It's like a old. fatherly rapper figure has come, up, come back and told right. all Do their children like how to act. Album, yeah? Yeah? The fact that a lot of people are talking about including the young people because he is with Beyonce. He's talking about things that Beyonce said on the Lemonade album. Mm-hmm. Beyonce's got people of all ages. But what I really, really like about the album is, you know, this, 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 and it was a myth before Jay dropped this album. This, this idea that if you're from the nineties, yeah, you shouldn't be rapping no more. Yeah. Like, look how many people have tried to come out with albums or songs. LL, Busta, uh, Ludacris came out with Potion where he's not Potion, he, uh, Vitamin D where he sampled Cisco's Fong song. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All of these rappers from back in the day coming out with music now, we're like, nah, like, come loud. Right. Like, don't, and don't you know what that, that is though, isn't it? Because like I said, they're trying to still act young. They're but even to, when Jay drops Magna Carta, that's what he was grill, still on that kind of. He was he was he's in between, to, but now he's all the way grown. Yeah. He, he's shown that it can be done. Mm-hmm. And it's okay to be old, older. And yeah, still yeah, do yeah, it. And not be about this young life and still be relevant. The like, thing is, though, I think you're now going to see a few of them artists think, yeah. Like, I can do it as well. Jay, yeah, exactly. Jay yeah, but if, they, if they drop something good, why stop them? Just because no, they're Jay, a certain age. Not going to. What's his name? Mm-hmm. Big Boy's um, album. I listened to that the other day. Mm-hmm. And he was dropping some of the same yeah, kind of talk yeah, as well. He, he has and done. He, and he was kicking on that because he made his first million at 19. Yeah, and yeah, like, yeah. Wait, what? But he's doing do it in a comfortable way. Wait, like he's not trying to be cool and he's not trying that's, to condescend that's, it. Yeah, that, that's what I was going to say is there's a lot They're of old, old guys that do drop albums that you probably don't listen to. Yeah. Not the Luders and the Busters, the more lesser guys yeah. than that, that come out and they do drop good albums. No one listens yeah. to it. So no one knows it's a good album. That's what I'm saying. You need someone of Jay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Only their hardcore fans. So you need someone of Jay's level to say it's okay to be a 50 year old rapper and to drop knowledge. I don't need to follow new trends. I just need to be me and be myself. I don't need to try and jump onto the charts and do what everyone else is doing. In a way, need to be my age. Make me feel more comfortable with my age, bro. Yeah. I can't listen to the young stuff. So I still listen to a lot of the 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 older guys now because I feel they chat to you know. What well, I'm going in my try, life. He did try to also bridge the gap between the older young because there's, um, I think it's, is it Family Feud? Are you talking about? Let's not talk about too that too bad. Didn't wear a nose ring. Yeah, too yeah, yeah stuff he's talking about young fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you can't keep. You got to understand that this generation, this music is for this generation. Yeah, exactly. Enjoy it. Le- yeah. You know, what be yourself and whatnot. Don't try to. Yeah, exactly. A be like them and B look down on them kind yeah. of thing. Whatever. But even though the cover, you know, he, he's yeah, like, be smart about things, isn't it? But. It was it was a good it was a good very good album. But lastly on that one, what would you think about um, Fifty Cent's comment? He said it's too smart. It's too smart. The youngers don't want to don't want to um, let them take their drugs and do their thing or whatever. Uh, yeah, I, I saw a clip. I can't remember I what it was. I I took it two ways. I think he's chatting a bit ignorant. Yeah. But I think. It's all not also, well. Yeah, there's also some truth to some what he's truth, saying yeah. as well. He's basically yeah. saying, Jay-Z, why are you bothering, man? They're not going to listen anyway. That it's kind of thing. Yeah, that and also is just because Jay-Z dropped a smart album yeah. doesn't mean every single album I want to hear needs to be smart. Right. Yeah. yeah. yeah exactly. I still listen to... Mix it up a bit. Right. West Side Gun, right. who's a lot of gun talk. I don't necessarily want to hear that, yeah. but every now and then I want to hear yeah. that. Hmm. Someone like Future I've never listened to, I don't know. Yeah. There'll be a mo- moment I'm in a club. You wanna hear I don't want to hear yeah. Future. Mm. I don't want to hear Kendrick or Jay. Right. So with that being said, 50 Cent said he's dropping an album at the end of the year. We're not going to listen to that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. We really want to no, listen to a 50 no, album. No. And what's he going to talk about? Is it going to be embarrassing Unless, if he's talking about, still talking about the same old thing? If things? he's talking about guns and stuff, then 
dead that. That's right. 20, 15 years but ago. But can we take 50 re- re- no, if, if, if he talks he about the start, we know he's one, we know he's what he's. Yes, but, yeah, but that's the thing. We don't want to hear about it. It depends how, do it. Yeah, how, do how does he translate? Can nah. 50 <laughs> translate? He's not a lyricist. Like, nah, exactly. Can like. he translate that to music? Yeah. Can 50 do it? Do I, how old is 50 I reckon now? only time will 40, tell. 40, do I think 50 can do it? No. no. If he drops the album and it's good, I'll listen, but I really don't think 50 can, so therefore I don't really want to hear a 50 album. Eminem's coming out one as well. I don't want to hear that. No, no. Nah, nah. Them times, certain artists, their time does pass mm. and it is hard for them to make relevant music And to me, that's now. why it was a risk with Jay-Z dropping this yeah, one before could, I heard well, it. Yeah, then there you go. It's ever a risk. It's not for, for Jay. No, but considering Magna Carta, Magna Carta was, was a poor album. Yeah, it wasn't like, great. It wasn't what? great. <laughs> no, it, was, it wasn't poor, <laughs> but in, in terms of the reception that it got... <laughs> He didn't get a great reception from it. Mm. Like, there's some banners on there, but it wasn't. Again, he was still. So that was that was quite a risk. You need to remember something. If you were on Twitter <coughs> when it dropped, but that's always like oh, no, first week hype. That's yeah, like, like Kendrick's like Kendrick's like first week hype. It's the go best band. album ever. Yeah. It's a classic. No, it's, been, it's been like an yeah. hour, bro. You gotta go by by numbers in it. But even remember Pimp a Butterfly though. Yeah. It's yeah, a classic, yeah. Justin Timberlake, great up. Uh, it's been out an hour. Yeah, it, How is yeah. it a classic? Yeah. You know, so you have to be careful. Yeah, but everyone's saying, yeah, yeah. But everyone's saying that about um, 444 four already. I don't I'm just saying. saying. It's I'm classic. just saying. No, but, I'm no, just but, saying. Because, no, but, no, but can't you? Because I got the same feeling that when I first did the blueprint, yeah. same I got with this. I'm not saying that it's not. It is a classic. To you, it's a classic. Yeah, but it's too early. In terms of what classic means, it's too early. Yeah, it means, but. I think with the way people say it's going to be a classic. Yeah. Like that, you know, yeah, like it's a we'll term that you say. Ten yeah. years time, we'd be saying, "Right, that changed the game." Yeah. It's a classic. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, just yeah, saying kind of the hype of people now. Album come out, the even if it's the album. Yeah, yeah they'll say as long as they like a couple songs. <laughs> this is a classic. Future comes out. It's a classic. Yeah, yeah. Like, right, okay. Just random. Just you know, listen to two chains. Yeah. yeah, what do you think of his new album? I've only skimmed for it once. I can't even remember that one. He's a smart guy. He's very rich. Is he business wise? Yeah, business or rapping? No, business wise, he's very cool. Did you watch his Breakfast Club interview? I no, 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 no. It was a good interview. He was talking about how he is a lyricist. Yeah, I've, well, no, I've heard him say that before. And yeah. even Charlemagne and a few others were saying on there that um, he's coming, he's coming with the bars on his album. But okay. He he was saying that he was in a lane where he had to kind of dumb himself down mm-hmm. according to who he was on tracks on. Yeah. And that's why when people are hearing lyrics now they're thinking yeah, oh, that's, yeah. that's, that's not you when he's saying he's always been that way yeah. but he would rap according to who he's on tracks with mm-hmm. that's the thing with the 50 cent sometimes it's, it's sometimes you need to sort of dumb yourself down yeah. to get out to get there what, yeah. but it, you know I mean he just sold the effort didn't he he's sharing the effort for mm-hmm. 60 million that's uh, what I mean yeah, we know he's not stupid yeah that's it but you know but, it, it's yeah. a hard it's a hard sell you, yeah. you're in the business to sell records at the end of the day so you know you can't come out with the encyclopedia and, and rap from that and everyone. It's not always going to catch up. There's something to be said for the message about um, buying black, investing in black businesses and doing If the business is up to scratch, then yeah. Yeah, it should have yeah, matter whether right. it's like, black. See what he said, he said, oh, um, was that Bond trying to give you a billion dollars a game for nine? Yeah, nine, nine, nine. Yeah. Was that a reference to Tidal or was that a reference to his album? Just both. Just both. both, yeah. Okay. Because I was having this argument, so I didn't, I didn't know like, oh, we shouldn't invest in the in the title thing because obviously it's black gold. No, 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 no. The title's whack, fam. So at the end of the day, no, 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 no. no. Title is better than Spotify. Title yeah. is not better than Apple Music. You know? No, 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 no. no, no. I don't know. So, I don't so, do so, none of that. Title's the same as Apple Music. I've tried Apple Music. I got. I, I ain't got Apple Music. I've used it, but Spotify. Yeah, but what? I but think what is point is Apple. Spotify, but title, what, is, what is point is the brand is a lot better. When you're talking about brand power, Apple would have more brand oh, power. Of course than, it is. Yeah, because so Apple, you know, it's, yeah. It's whether cool. something's better to use, that's that's that. It could be probably better. What as you're saying, but, but the content on on title is better than the content of Apple Music. Mm-hmm. Sometimes that's not. As that's not enough. Yeah, it's not enough. It's, it's, it's not enough to take my preference. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, I, I bought it because Jay-Z, whatever. Of but course, yeah. I actually, like, if, if, if I didn't like it, I wouldn't, I wouldn't subscribe yeah, to it. Yeah, yeah. I don't think you should invest in something that is good. Right, and it, that Regardless. is good. I'm not saying mm-hmm. people should go by a title, yeah. but you know, like, I've got his tales. Mm-hmm. That's coming to title next week. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which is another 
um, thingy that's and white. what does that mean it wouldn't go to Apple no it's not going to go you okay. see all this whole um, exclusivity shit I think is nonsense bro yeah, yeah I, I reckon I think, think that's it's how you get people to sign up though isn't it yeah, 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 yeah. I reckon that's 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 that will stop I reckon that will stop the whole sign up thing is all done now No, yeah. everybody tends to have at least two of them or I'm not signed up to any of them yeah that's I'm an anomaly yeah I don't sign up to any of them as well I'll always find a way to get it free we have I have a swap that's illegal bro Apple Music yeah I don't think I've met anybody who has had like apart from Darren. Yeah. But other than that, bro, mm-hmm. I really haven't met anybody that, that says, yeah, I use Tidal. Like, yeah, it's just... It's well, Tidal's a, it's 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 a, it's a niche app. thing. Yeah, it's a niche thing. Like, it's, it's bigger in America than it's over here. So, it's like... <laughs> I don't know. What I'm saying is that on, on the black home things, I'm down to support support that 100%. You get me? I feel like, you know, even when I get my hair done and that, you get me? But I know. I bought, I bought them bare business, yeah? Mm. But not once have I asked for a discount, cousin. I'll still pay you the full price because it's a small black business, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm going to make sure well, yeah. that... I don't, so why if, if I'm not if I'm not gonna go to Curry's yeah, or comment and say listen I want a discount why would I do that in my mm-hmm. black store mm-hmm. there's a there's a black owned supermarket in Fort Worth right? yeah you get me like but we still go to Tesco yeah you get me we still go to Amesbury, but there's one right in the end zone that we can go to but why is it this is what I'm trying to get convenient why? convenience there's convenience too that's that's correct. yeah price yeah. price as well sometimes. <laughs> And sometimes you he's got a, he's got a point there. Sometimes you know for a fact you go to somebody's so called owned. Yeah, black listen, owned. Why is that? Because obviously their costs are a lot higher. They're buying power. But, but so I haven't got the money to exert. Fair that. enough. And nobody's mad at you for going to right. middle. What I'm saying is, where do we start? Where does it start? Like because, for instance, like if we were to start a business, will people be skeptical? Is it because, is it because black businesses aren't run as professionally as? <laughs> No, or is it okay? Is it, oh, you Dr. Umar now, yeah? No, I'm asking, it's a question. I'm asking, don't put me that prick, please. <laughs> like, I'm asking, like, who, who? No, if you're putting like Tesco in comparison to a local black Afro supermarket, did I say that right? Yeah, it matter, like yeah. in Fort Neath, yeah? Yeah. Um, I don't think you're, you're not, not going to the, to the black supermarket just because it's owned by a black person. It, you got, it's for all those reasons, price. And you can't say that it's because it's not professionally run or the business ain't pro- He's done it to whatever he could exactly. do best, right. yeah? But it's not as good as what we're expecting as customers right. now. So, so my, my Tesco is, has set the bar. Yeah. If you can't do... Te- oh, forget, forget food. Okay. Why is it, though, that like, like Asians support Asian businesses, Jews support Jewish businesses? Why isn't it blacks don't support black businesses? I'm just asking the question. But who no, said we don't? Who says you don't? What black, what black, Let me ask say, you a question, right? You're supporting black barber shops, no? That's what I was just thinking. Yeah, yeah. Go barber shop. Every that's supporting black business. Yeah. I know we didn't kind of have to. I know we didn't want to touch on this subject, but why are we picking and choosing as black people what we support? And what I mean by that is, I don't think you are. No, we are because we're talking about businesses. But then why not in terms of relationships? I'm not having a dig at someone. I'm just bringing up that conversation. Why? 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 Why is it that we? We should do it when it's businesses, but when it comes to the the yeah. relationships, yeah, because relationship is more in love. That's I okay. Keep, I keep saying it's that. personal, isn't it? It's, it's more personal. personal. It's personal. We're talking about financial. But, yeah, building building for the future financially. No, well, well, you know what? I understand what you're saying, but we're talking about building a community. I understand right? what you're saying. Which yeah, is like, yeah, the same yeah, thing. Yeah, but yeah, 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 like, yeah. like I said to any I'm asking. No, I'm saying I'm answering. If anyone chooses to be with someone other than love and that's not their first thing, they're a dickhead. Yeah, they're not. I'm not saying it's, it's not, not, it's not going to work. Other than love, if love is not the top of your priority, you're a dickhead. So yeah. love who you want, yeah? That's what I'm saying. That, I keep that different to um, investing and, in black And people. I also think that we should stop doing this your own community, your own community thing. I reckon everyone should just support each other. You, no, no, yes, yes, that problem with, mm. you do it and your community don't like No, no, it, who so do? shut up. <laughs> <laughs> No, but you know, problem is you got you got um give us foundation. Back you got foundation and yeah. we haven't got that in the in the Talk community. The right, okay, community, so then why 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 yeah. don't you start with the foundation then? Okay, because, because it's, it's easier said than done. No, and, and the foundation easy. your foundation hasn't been ripped from you and stolen from you. That's the problem. There is that. You get me in this. Does this man not know about Black Hall Street? No, no, I do know about that. No. Alright then, well there you go then. But let's not take it that deep, here. Yeah? But we, we, we we've tried before, yes? Yeah? <laughs> and look what happened. Okay. Do you think it will ever get to a stage where we will have to see blacks and no. blacks? 
Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. I think so. Yes. I think no. so. But no. it will, it, it's it's not going to be where does it start? This it almost. starts. It starts with us. Look. It well, starts with the, the new every, gener- yeah, generation. Generations. Yeah. It will. It that's will happen busy. one day. Yeah, dancing to Molly yeah, and Percocet. Yeah, but in a way, that's 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 but that's but not all of them. Yeah, not all of them. <laughs> no, but, yeah, but that's not all of them. Yeah, but in a way, all in a way, them. that's their way of enjoying life, and they're not yeah, hating they're still, on all yeah, the but, on but those with, stupid with, topics. With the music thing, like like Fumi said, like you're you're being you're, you're owned by by white guys. Yeah. Basically. Okay. Yeah. Look at the um. Do you see the, the clip of I think Doctor Boyd Watson put the thing of Bobby Schmurder when he went to 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 go for his deal. And he's dancing in front of this group of white people in suits oh, yeah, yeah. He said, "Put it on mute." The man's like a monkey, bro. He's just on the table doing all this, and they're all clapping up and down. Yeah, that's, 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 that's a lot of artists, though, bro. Yeah, and he's saying, "When he's in prison now, just let, let him hang him out to dry." That like, is saying, "Of course, like, it's business." That, but, but why is it that? Black, remember, these, these rappers are the, are the commodity. They're they're, yeah. they're they're bringing in the big money. Yeah. Why can't they start their own thing and and build from there? Who's there? Who's there to teach them? Because yeah, te- is, we, who's we teaching them? No and plus, like and plus, they're so happy at where they've got to, they they, they don't even want to reach out further. Is, so you got to remember, this generation got to that level yeah. of the singing. Maybe the next generation will try and get to the level mm-hmm. even it's further. It's about financial literacy. That's ain't that where it starts. So even if you yeah, so then maybe people, so then maybe you maybe if you maybe if you're um, like a successful rapper, when you have kids, you make sure you educate yeah. them to a way that they'll be able to do things that you couldn't. Do do that. Yeah. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? And, and they are doing that. And we, and we, it's probably we, just... That's what I'm saying. Do you think we'll get to a place yes. where... We yes. will. We yeah. will. Like, and it's happening like, already. Um, it's it's happening like, already. Like, what's his name? Chance the Rapper, yeah? Mm. Like, he... Like, even 21 Savage, yeah? You don't want to boy this guy, you know? He owns 100% of his master recordings, right? Do you know mm-hmm. what that yeah. means? Yeah. I just always yeah. do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand. So what I'm saying is that he now is able to... He's in control, right? Like, he earns 100% of what he makes, right? Well, there you go. Pretty much. And like we said, it's the foundation. It's getting that foundation for the next generation. So you talk about someone like Jay-Z, he just put an album, whatever. Yeah. It's going to reach a whole new audience. So then, oh, okay, I get that. You say you're 21 Savage. The next <laughs> yeah. generation after him, you have people like LeBron James, who's got his own sporting agency, mm. Rock mm. Nation. There you go, they are doing the it. Ne- They're going to do it. The next generation, yeah. you build on that, you build on. That's so, what I'm saying. The foundation you know, is getting built. built. The foundation's getting built right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. Even we, that we're having a conversation and about. And the, fa- and the foundation can only be built by money. Yeah. So the more the more successful yeah, yeah. the more successful black people you have at the moment, as long as they're spending on their community and on the foundation, it's, it, it's gonna work. Rock Nation is part of what Live Nation, Live Nation. which is owned by who? The Jews, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. They're still gonna be a part of it. They're still gonna be a part of it. Yeah. When you get the highest highest change, you're yeah, always gonna be. You're gonna yeah. always so be. Always yeah. But as long as long as you're as long as you're building your own people up. Deep it, man. We will never. It doesn't matter how high they let us climb. Cause yeah. We get to a point, and we will never get higher than that. And I don't still, think we still. Yeah. But we'll get to a point. Yeah. And we we'll always let a couple through. But we'll, we'll always mm-hmm. get that. But then, through. but then I reckon. You get me. You're not gonna see a black person in the top ten billion then, in this world. It's not gonna happen, man. Yeah, because as much no, as no, there is there. what top ten billion is. I think yeah, there is, there is already there's black in people. Africa. Yeah, there's there's Africa. Africa. There's Africa. Yeah, the richest man ever was a black man. Yeah, we we know this. Yeah. Yeah. Let's not get that <laughs> deep, bro. Yeah, yeah. Let's just not get that yeah. deep. You get me? Bro? Yeah, this is building the foundation, and we're doing that now. It will happen. Okay, yeah, no, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> it was, there, it was yeah, <laughs> exactly. One step at a time. One step at a time. Poor black. No, but um, all right. No, that's fair enough. So just to, to, to wrap it up now, we have to, to go back a step and go to Coonin. Yeah, we're gonna we bring up Mike well, Vick. We, we have to talk about <laughs> R. Kelly. Yeah, the right. week of the <laughs> Dutty Dick Usher. So we were talking about we were, we were talking about foundation. So talk about the week of the Black Man. <laughs> <laughs> or the week Black Man. <laughs> yeah, black man. <laughs> Where we start? Let's start with Michael Vick. Yeah, I keep on the subject. Like for those who don't know, Colin K- Kaepernick. Mm-hmm. Um, that he name just a, sounds wrong. He was a South San Francisco 49 quarterback. Um, was a great player, had a dodgy season, whatever, but he has um turned activist almost yeah, taken a stance against injustice against black black men in particular in America. Right. Yeah. Um he'd grown out his hair, Afro. He's refused to stand, stand for, for the national, national anthem. anthem. Um and then he got dropped by the San Francisco 49ers. Couldn't find no team wanted to pick him up mm-hmm. to the to the to the extent where he's had to kind of retire and say, "Look, I'm not going to play in the NFL again for 
a racist organization until they fix up, basically. Yeah. Okay, but what what what's made him do all this? What what's triggered it off? I don't know. Well, it's just the shootings of, of of unarmed black men in America and what's going on and whatnot, whatever. The injustice there. Yeah. Okay. So he feels a way of something like, happened recently, or just he, uh, of forty years. years oh, okay, cool. Couple years, like, especially that. Well, so he just suddenly woke up. Well, I think he's been so, woke for years, but yeah, he's taking a stand he's, now. He's, he's taking a stand. stand yeah. All right. And people, people him, following him. It's he's, co- yeah, but it's costing his job. Yeah, okay. it's, it's basically you know when to put his career on the line. Yeah, but sometimes when it. you turn activist, you don't give a damn about your job, right? Yeah, right. that's he's it. He put his, he's yeah. got enough money, but yeah. ideally he'd want to play in the NFL. Of course, yeah. yeah. But but him getting taken out of his job isn't that him kind of like proving right. what's, but what's but going on? A fellow black man has come out and said the next quarterback as well has said if he wants to come back and play in the NFL, he the first thing he should do is cut his hair, yeah, cut his afro. Yeah. Okay. Which is causing an uproar, basically, yeah. Because people saying What's that gotta do? Just because he what well, you tell you basically telling him to dumb down his blackness, basically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To look more approachable, less harmful and what that whatever less threatening. Okay. Yeah? This guy Michael Vick has taken a battery from social media because he was a convicted felon, he was involved in legal dog fighting yeah. during his peak years and he went to prison. Yeah. Mm. He come back and got a second chance. Yeah. Okay. Um, but they're saying he had to basically change his image and be, you know, like kind smart, of smart, kind oh, yeah. of bow down to the white guy and whatever. Yeah, whatever. yeah. But they're saying, well, you're convi- you've done something wrong. He hasn't. Yeah. yeah. Why are you basically selling out? Basically, just because he said the Afro thing. Yeah. No, but hold on, right? Just to put this in a little bit different perspective. You know when sometimes you come home, you haven't cut your hair and you ain't cut your bed? Yeah. And like your parents or whoever you live with, whatever, say, go and cut your hair. Yeah. Well, so, there's nothing so wrong with that. He's just telling you to smart up. No, but basically... No, but then you, if you're going to school or something, yeah. they'll say to smart up for school. Yeah, but you're playing NFL. Yeah, but basically what the... the Why yeah, does what, he need to cut his hair? What they're saying is, is the Afro stands for black activist, black power, black panther. Oh, is that what you're saying? That's what they're saying. That's what it's... That's what that's why it's got Afro. Okay. So what he's basically saying is... Basically, cut your hair, yeah, and stop being like cut guys. your hair, boy. Yeah, cut your hair, boy. Okay, and get in line with the rest of the Negroes. All oh, right, and okay. do your job if you want to play in the NFL. Well, okay, so he's saying it how it is as well. Anyway, even that's caused an uproar on Twitter. You mean how it is? No, the, the what's the guy's name that actually said that about Michael that? Michael yeah, Vick. so Michael Vick Michael just told him. Frick. Michael, Frick. Yeah. but so, he just told him that if you want to carry on playing, um, stop, stop. Stop being the way you're, you're he being. He went jail for dog fighting. No, no. Who is he to open his mouth? Which is it? Huh? Which, which is exactly what I think as well. Like, mm. why? Why should anyone have to tone down? No, who no, they are? no, no. It's true, but he, he's saying to him that if you want to, if you're yeah. a bruv, pipe down and carry on the way life is. Yeah. There's no point in carrying an uproar. You're just gonna lose your job. That he's just telling him. He's, he's kind of like giving. Well, he has lost his, his job. He's, he's lost, lost his, his job. job. Who? Uh, he's lost his job. Well, there you no go. Won't, won't go <laughs> there you and go. And his worst players. So he's kind of like telling bro. him bro, that stop. Man, man punching up it's not right. Definitely, you should carry on. You should carry. In my in my eyes, Arake should carry on. He should do what he thinks is right. Because you said he's got enough money anyway. That's the main thing, right? He should carry on. So yeah. no one's touching him. He should stand up yeah, for himself. No, no one's touching him. No so touching him. I didn't see what Mike Vick said he can really exactly. Prove I just hair. heard he said cut his hair. Yeah, he came out after and said it's been blown up before. Yeah, yeah. so I'm not the best for him. Yeah, blah, blah. I don't, yeah. yeah. that's I, exactly I kind of, what I think. I don't know how he said it or what he said, but obviously so there's a couple was, ways to take it, yeah? So if he's saying then cut him hair and become a house Negro, yeah. then obviously there's an issue with that. But if he's saying, look... They're not gonna. They're not gonna want you mm. on your black astrophy yes. soapbox. Yeah. Yeah. So the only way to get back in the NFL yeah. is to cut your hair. There's yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Exactly. He's just basically Advising saying him. that's how it is. That's yeah. how the NFL is yeah. run by white people. Well, they don't want to see you. But you know, it depends yeah. how he said it. I don't. I don't know how yeah. he said it. And also, considering the fact that this whole thing started because he refused to stand for the national anthem, mm-hmm. should he go back and stand for the national anthem? Well, you know what? I I don't think personally that you should not sing the national anthem because that's saying what you're American right it's not saying you're white yeah but it's what he said it's what America stands for rape and pillage and all that stuff it's, this whole country is built on the back of others yeah then leave yeah exactly go back to your own country mate I never said that <laughs> <laughs> damn <laughs> whoa well, we fought together you're freaking 
Standby. 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 Oh my god. <laughs> it's like I've signed it, yeah, and he's just got a written something racist <laughs> over it, yeah, and signed it to my name. Like fuck it's you. Yours. You know no. what I'm saying? Kind oh, of listen, wait, wait. wait. Uh, let me let me say on flip side, yeah. You know, like um, like British Pakistanis or whatever, the ones that got extremists or whatever. Every time any of them like go mad on the mic or whatever, we'd all describe, go and say the same thing to them as well. I say, brother, if you don't like living in Britain, go back to Pakistan. Right. No but, one's stopping yeah, you. Yeah, but the thing is, does anyone hear all those words to the British national anthem? No. Nope. Uh, right. I know. But when I talk to my, my people, my white people that like, sing it, then what's the words? Go on, bruv. God save our God give us save the the queen. Queen. noble queen. Um, God save our queen. Something victorious. Sorry, can I say something about the national anthem? You keep saying that it's it go back. He didn't actually come over. He was taken. What? He was taken. His people. Yeah, Colin Excuse Kaepernick. Up. He was taken. Yeah. So yeah. you can't say go back. Yeah. Because it's not like what he. What we know from America is that you, there's no way to go back to. Yeah. yeah. You, you wasn't. Like, it's you didn't not like us over here. Oh yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. But it's not like in America. Like, mm. The black people were there first. Then it got. Oh yeah. So yeah. therefore, yeah, when you I'm walk, going back to national Africa. Because I don't know the words in national Africa. and every white person I speak to are horrified. If you did, would you sing it? Probably. I ain't singing shit. No, I wouldn't. I must sing Why? Why? Because I st- even though I'm British, I still don't think, feel like I'm 100% part of this country. <laughs> think and get dash out, yeah? I'm good. Yes. Like, get out! <laughs> I, I personally think the same as well. Right. You married into the culture, though. So? What's the point? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. It's, it's so hold on, when the national anthem comes you on, wait, 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 down, when, 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 right, right, down, come, down, come. When the national anthem comes on, like on Christmas Day, Laura's singing. You're not. No, she don't sing it. Oh, but she, she, she gets, a, she gets a, uh, an issue when footballers don't sing it. Ooh, and, yeah. I say, and when I say I don't know the words, yeah. same with the people at work. They're like, you don't know the words. They yeah, ask me all these history yeah, questions about. I don't know. I don't know about English history. I don't care about English history. But it doesn't mean I don't want to live here. And I shouldn't live here. So you're just, take, here. you're just taking the benefits from the country, but you don't like it. Benefits? I well, that's what you look doing. Yeah, I, th- I, yeah, I admit it. I admit it. Yeah, we're given to the economy as well. Yeah, I'm, contrib- I'm contributing. <laughs> I pay my taxes. But that, like I say, so why does that mean it call it Questionable. Has to, has, to, has to bounce if huh? he doesn't agree with the national anthem? If he doesn't, no, he doesn't nah. But what, what he just needs to pretend he doesn't know the words, man. When they don't sing it, it's not about singing, it's standing for it. He kneels when it comes on. Yeah. It's the same thing a basketball player. I, 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 per- I that Black Panther thing. Yeah, I personally don't thing. believe with any national anthems for any I'll country to be. I reckon you know. that's just dumb. Find another career. Yeah, exactly. Well, he is an activist. I said find another career. <laughs> 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 Not hobby. <laughs> yeah. Not make a nuisance of yourself. <laughs> oh my god. Fuck it. Tell you what, No, bro, you just shut that down. My you shut Colin that Kaepernick. down. Who's signing you on, bro? He don't even. He don't, he don't my even. Colin Kaepernick. What do you think of my. <laughs> I think, yeah, the person Fuck that might be. <laughs> he deserved it. <laughs> he didn't have no dream. <laughs> he was a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> that man, big guy, is a dickhead, yeah? However, if this guy can't get into the NBA, you can't unfortunately force these people NBA. to. to what? Right, it's, yeah, it's, a, it's a white world. Oh, right. Right. It's a white world. So what, happens, what happens there? Because let's be honest, all the, the talented sports people in America are black. The majority of them are. If they all decide to take a stand, and, yes, or, or that's what I mean for the national anthem. What happens then? Yes. The white sports in America will become mediocre. Exactly. You reckon they will? They, um, they will get on with it, bro. No, 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 no. Think of the money these yes, black nah, brothers nah. contribute. That's what I mean. They will get on with it. No, with who? They with who? They with who? Get with it, bro. They cost too much money, bro. They, they, the black people make too but much that, money for the, for them to. For, and they want to talk about sports. They're talking about pretty much everything. Yeah, but that's the yeah, yeah, black community to once again come but together. together, which they're not gonna do. So for sports, so for sports and for business. Black people should just come together. No. Oh, and 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 cops killing us. That's what? Those Basically, you want to do that a... black people should come together for. <laughs> Why should black people come together for this guy? Chad is trying. No, no one's saying. No, it's not I'm saying what it is. Chad is trying to start off the crowd and rights. Well, yeah. No, no, I'm saying, but hypothetically, what if? But you're saying that the white people get on with it. I'm saying they wouldn't. 
I don't think they I would. I don't think they would. Why, how can With who? <laughs> With what, what, what money are they going to have? Where's the money coming from? Yeah, I, I think the problem that would happen was... What's that Tom guy's name? Which one? Brady. What man can't... Yeah, man, yeah. Can't, man, 40 if, years old, it depends, man. It depends, what you mean, depends what you mean. So you're saying in all leading American sports, American football, basketball... Singing, music, No, no, no. Music. Just, just say, just say sports for now. Who's going to drop the next just, just, hip-hop track? Just say for sports for now. They was to all... Um, what stand down and say right until you yeah, what reinstate my uh, Colin Kaepernick? Yeah. But also, what, would what would happen? Yeah. Well, it comes out. There'll to... be plenty of meetings going on by the powers that be to decide what they're gonna do. Are they gonna go forward with white people, yeah. or are they gonna, you know, reinstate thing? Yeah, but let's and go as soon as forward with white people. Let's I, be I, I don't. Yeah, I don't. No, no, no but looking at the money, money. No, but you know what? Because what would happen? Of black people. What, that's, all <laughs> no, that's 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 something else. But I agree yeah. with that one. You're talking about the Super Bowl, but yeah, no, but no, in the first no, inst- inst- in the first you're instance, because you think you got to think of the NBA oh, lockout as well. What happens? Everything shuts down. There's nothing going on. So it would go to lockouts and things with big discussions, and it would go from there to one person. So then. Yeah, I, I think he. I nah, think he'd be, be in, in, mate, let's, reinstated. Let's be real, bro. That's not happening. No, it's not. It's not, it's not, yeah. not going to happen. He's just like, saying what if. Yeah. They need to. Yeah, so people. basically, but, don't get, they wouldn't get paid. You know. Yeah. You're exactly. Going on leave, so you're in a bit of, of a catch twenty two situation. Just for one man. Yeah. The white man needs the black man, and the black man needs <laughs> the white man. Do you think he'll ever come back to NFL? How old is he? How old is he? He's got what twenty seven, twenty eight. Yeah, I reckon he'll come back. And do what? It's hard, man, because he can. But um, he will just cut his afro and come back. No, it's not even. Doesn't even have to cut his hair. That's, that's the biggest. That's the biggest part. He doesn't even. He, 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 he wasn't too late. Because the thing is, you can't do that. The thing is, he could come back <laughs> and he could come back basically and just say nothing. He could stand for the national anthem. It doesn't mean you have to sing. Yeah. He could just stand like that with his head down yeah. or like this. Yeah. It doesn't mean anything. So there's a reality that he could come back. He could come back. So it's. It's, it's up to him, mm. really. Yeah. If, if he, he wanted needs, to. If yeah. he needs the money, bro. Straight up. Yeah, I think if he used to, to start running out of money, then, then maybe. Me. So moving on to the um, another black man, R. Kelly. Yeah. News has come out that he's a... Uh, Age ain't nothing but a number. He's, a, he's basically running some sort of cult. Sex, How sex is that cult. new news, man? I swear. Didn't people know that for years? No, they just thought he was a pervert. And a pedophile. Same thing. Yeah. So they're saying now that he's... He's taking girls or women yeah. of age. Okay. Yeah, this time. Brainwashing them. Yeah, With what? His dick. With his power in it. Okay. Like, they think they want to something, whatever. So he's financing their lifestyle, whatever, whatever. But he's also <coughs> under some strange conditions. Like they, Can I go first? Yeah, go on. What is the... What, no, seriously. What is the worst thing that you've heard, whether it's allegedly, whether you saw it with your own eyes and choose not to believe it. What's the worst thing you've heard that R. Kelly has done? Did this one. No, COVID. generally, I in think general. General. Oh, pissed on an underage girl. Right. So if he can do that, <laughs> yeah, and still drop tp2.com. Yes. Best of both worlds. Thank you. I don't yeah, think it's such a big deal. Factory, if he can drop all of these albums and still have a career and still be hailed yeah, as the best in R&B. Applause. After, after doing that, because yeah. I saw the video, yeah, yeah. you can sit here and tell me whatever you want. That was R. Kenny in that video that I watched. Sure. Right? Have you still see... got the video? <sighs> what? If he can still have that career after he's done that, yeah, I don't want to hear nothing else. Right. Okay, what's your favorite really? Because. <laughs> Bro, I think we should have got that video camera. <laughs> that look. <laughs> he's a dirty bastard, isn't he? But cause I think that. For what I've heard this cult thing, it's not illegal what he's doing. Yeah, I didn't read I didn't read the, the cult thing, but from back in the day when I saw that well, video clip. Well, back in the day, he, he was found innocent on that. Mm. Yeah. I don't care, I know what I saw. Right, but I know no, what I saw. He's, he's found innocent on that. The girl come out and said that wasn't her in a video, whatever, whatever. Regardless, the courts or court of law found him innocent. That's fine. Yeah. So and he can't be that old. Yeah. Let's talk about this, this cult thing that he's doing. Yeah. So yeah. what is he doing in this cult thing? Basically, yes, Does he, he like he's... coming out in a white gown with a spotlight on him? Like Jesus, all that stuff? Brother, I don't... I oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> say, yeah. I've got that, that picture in my mind. He takes his girls, I think he's got three or four girls, and he's got like an older secretary okay. who was with him when the underage team, whatever. She's now left him, but she basically tells these girls... Um, Grooms them? 
kind mm. of grooms them, gets rid of their phones, provide them with um, their own their personal phones that they can Sounds like pimping. Pimp. Whatever. Sounds they like have to office. perform like <coughs> derogatory sex acts when he wants and how he wants, whatever. Which is like a girlfriend. And when he gets, when, when, when um, if they do something he disapproves of, he punishes them verbally and physically. And stuff like that. Sounds like a normal relationship. Yeah, that does mate. sound that does sound a bit a bit cultish. Um Well, yeah, a lot of these guys are weirdos, isn't it? And I think we've definitely learned over the years that he is. It a, he is how many he's girls weird. is it? Four. At the moment, he's got four. four. Yeah, but, so, is, but saying that, is it a is it a cult or is he just going? He's out got a whole girls? stable. That's what it basically is. Yeah, he's grooming girls. He's got he's girls got them off from their family. Like he's got a whole they stable. Don't know where she where she is? In, in yeah, but you know what? Sometimes uh, when a couple get married. A husband sometimes says to his girl as well, I don't want you going out and I don't want you seeing the family and stuff like that. It happens. Right. So if that's your daughter. Yeah. She's going to a concert, seen R. Kelly. Yeah. Yeah. She ain't going, my daughter's not going to know R. Kelly concert. She's 50. Yeah. Yeah, 52. Okay. Come here, little girl. She's 18. Mm. Yeah. You want to sweep? So he's got like, they, they range from 18 to like, I think 24, 25. Okay, so he, all right, so he's saying because he's choosing them off age now, right? right. Yeah, yeah. Regardless about how legally old, he's getting into their heads. Their yeah, head. like you said, yeah. manipulation. Mm. Yeah, grooming, grooming all that them. Stuff, yeah, but they're off age. Yeah, they should just... he be vilified? Because obviously they, he's coming at this. He's a pervert. He's this whatever. We all know because he's got previous and this whatever. Mm. He's a sick. He's a sick old blah blah. Is there anything wrong with what you do? There is. Definitely, it's definitely wrong, but like you said, because it's not illegal, he's exploiting it. And because he's sick minded and he but can get away with it, he's going to keep doing I, it. I say something though. Is he doing anything different to what normal people do? To what Hugh Hefner does? Oh. In my opinion, no. So, do like you. The, the so, one. to, uh, to ask, ask Naz, as he said that he's a sicko or whatever. Yeah. Do you think Hugh Hefner is a sicko? Yes, I do. So, why, did, why doesn't he catch that same eye heat? Yeah. Because he's white. What about Taz, you about Taz's angels? Yeah, and plus, because he's Hugh Hefner, no he... Don't mention them ever again. No, but, but you know... No, Hugh Hefner. Ever. <laughs> ever. It's the same thing. Who? Taz's angels. It's, I don't I know them, bro. It was his name, Taz, but... He's got... A, you know, he provides girls for, like, um, strip clubs and Horse. videos and whatever, whatever. Okay, he's he got provides a, whores. He's got a whole stable. These girls sit in initiation. They do some sick shit, sexual shit in there. He runs a... It's like a cult again. Yeah. But... Thomas swingers. Crazy, it's man. like a swingers club. In a way, uh, there's loads of those going on about. Swinging, right? Yeah, but swingers is different to like. Yeah, yeah like, but it's like that's like a cult in a way, this right? This is hoe building. This is this is yeah, building like, holes. Is it's just I don't know, bro. Is there any limit? Basically, I think that's what people are trying to get to. That is there. Any I think limit the, the thing. What? I think I think the thing with it is that you when you add the word cult. Yeah. Everyone gets a, yeah, a bit funny about saying, it. Yeah. If you was just to say, yeah, R. Kelly's got a whole house, he that's brings it. chicks up in there that's and he does, does certain so thing and he, and he walks them out or whatever, that's you'd be exactly like, oh, it. you'd be like, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. He's, he's an R&B so singer. Yeah. He likes girls, obviously. He's gonna you throw the girls. word cult in there, it's like, hmm, that's just creepy. It, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. creepy. Yeah. So, And then if it's the fact that he's 52 and these girls are 18, you know, he's a bad man if he's still getting But all right, if you was to look at another successful singer, around the same age yeah. they still bang yes they yeah, still yeah, bang yeah. young teens that's what I'm yeah. trying to say it's not no different it's because of the word cult being added yeah, yeah. and plus because he's got previous yeah speaking you know. on the age thing quickly there was a thing on Twitter where there was a dilemma where an 18 year old was going out with a 27 year old man that's disgusting <laughs> what an 18 year old was going out with a 27 year old man that's disgusting <laughs> Okay. Man got, the man got ripped. Is it? On, yeah, on, that's on, yeah, you're, you're, you're sicko. You're yeah. No so way. Kind of that. That's but fucked. That is fucked. Is that just because she's eighteen, or is this the age gap? It's the, the age gap in it because it's, the, it's the, because she's eighteen. She's just fresh out of puberty, isn't it? And he's a he's a full fledged grown man, isn't it? But it is. Anyway, that's a, that's a completely different kind of thing. We have to touch. <laughs> You have to touch on that, Usher Dick. <laughs> oh, dirty dick boy. Long story short, Usher apparently got herpes and he gave it to a woman, um, paid her 1.1 million because... To keep quiet. No, to keep quiet because he gave it to, to her. Keep her <laughs> <laughs> he, he to keep her He talked Because she... He basically persuaded her to have unprotected sex um, oh. when... 
to claim he didn't have it. Or he yeah, yeah, he it. had he had herpes. He gave it he gave it to her. Yes. Then obviously she got sick and stuff. So you know in America you have to pay for your medical bills and so stuff. That one million got spent yeah. there. So yeah, he had to pay. He paid her off and paid for her medical bills as well. Right, but and now it's come out. Yeah, now. There's only one way he could clear his name. I mean, no, he needs to drop his pants, bro. <laughs> it's ridiculous about STD, bro. Are you asking him to see? No, bro. I'm trying to say for him to clear his name. I'm not going to be there in the courtroom. I'm just saying <laughs> yeah. how he can no, clear he's his name. But the, the, he's not the, denying it. He ain't come out denied it. I don't oh. think he's heard about it. No, but it <laughs> <laughs> he'd be pissed. Man's oblivious. No, he's <laughs> getting ran through the mud. Obviously, you have to go into do deep, but. Herpes is for life, but you don't see the signs every day. Okay. I'm talking like you have spells where there's you, you're you're able to have unprotected sex because you're not nothing showing and whatever. It's only it's a visible thing in it. So, so well, one you, day you might have herpes, next day you won't. In effect, it come. Not to say it comes. It's there for life. Yeah, but, but it's, it, it calms itself down. It's the so symptoms. Have, the symptoms yeah, show every now and then. It flares up and you have it like that. Then it gets right. Okay. A lot of people have it. A don't know it and B like. Live with it normally. Or they don't it's think, like a cold sore or whatever. And they don't like think spots. and they don't think it's no, herpes. Got it. No, they might not think it's herpes. They might just they think might have, it, yeah, a lot of people don't think spotty dick. You know man, you just got you got problems, bro. Yeah. But what I'm saying is for Asha, yeah. because of the stigma that is attached to it, what? where does he go from here? Like because the arcade thing ain't affecting his his, his his career. It's not affecting his sales or nothing, his concerts, whatever. Yeah. This <laughs> <laughs> do you know when he takes girls up on stage and everything they're like the stigma that's attached to it how do you I reckon from that, do you come out and say something about it he, need, you... he needs to bring out a track I need a girl part free <laughs> um, you know what I was going to say something and then I remembered Magic's got HIV and yeah. Magic's been around forever and he's been successful in everything so, but he's not, but he's not, uh, he's not R and B, love that, yeah. Girls and that, and I think you know what? Night. I think he needs to change his. Music. No, no, no. I think a lot of women, because he's Usher, won't care. Nah, I disagree. What? I think not all. I think there's a, a, a percentage out there. Oh, there's always going to be some some idiots that think, oh fuck, it, it's Usher. It's, I don't exactly, it's what? Usher. The same thing with R- R- the same thing with R. Kelly. It's they don't care what it is or whatever. It's R. No, Kelly, so I'm going with in it. Way, yeah, in, a way, in a way, in a way, in a way, one his fans feel sorry for him. He's got herpes. What should we hate him now? What, what do? No, no, no still hate him. his music. But yeah. Yeah. What? What? The ridicule you his like, image. Yeah, the you image. Out. Yeah, is he talking about he's ruined his image? Yeah, oh, okay. like, what do you do? Do you come out and, and, and address it? Or do you try to deny it? Or do you... Because even when you start taking girls on stage, bro, like, there's going to be balance like that, bro. Oh, yeah, you mean when he's blind. He's blind, he's blind. <laughs> you also... When he, like, you, you say there's a few girls that won't care, but even when you try to get groupies on that, I know he's married now, but if... Is he married? Yeah, he's married. That's another thing. Fuck yeah, she, no, I didn't realise he was she married. She must have known, bro. Like, she must have known. So what does she do? That she she won't be sleeping with him or what? We don't know. No, but people sleep with people happens all the time. Because when they have the dry spell, it means nothing. They're, oh, they're so okay. they just wait but for that spell. It's up and shit. Like, Raw, boy. <laughs> it's a different thing. Okay. What's your take on it? It's nasty, isn't it? But shit happens, bro. Yeah. It does. You can't blame but him for it. You can't blame him for it. Mm. Man got the clap. That's it, bro. He didn't get the clap. <laughs> That can be cleared up, bro. Well, you know what I mean. The clap, herpes, whatever. Gonorrhea. Like, he what? got something room <laughs> where. You get me? So, in terms of it, his, his career movement, his brand, what does he do? Like, do you honestly believe that out uh, 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 of all the celebrities, entertainers and sports people... He's the only there, one. Yeah, he's the only one that's ever got any song. Well, right, well, then there you go, bro. How many do you know with it? No, I reckon he should just come out. Publicly? In. Yes. None. I right. reckon he should Part just... From so what I'm saying is... No, I reckon he should... <laughs> <laughs> what do you... Like, the spokesman bro, I, for herpes. I, because I, among the Hollywood scene, they probably don't care. I said that at the beginning, bruv. He needs to prove himself innocent. No, but if he has it... He's got it, bruv. You can't prove it. Listen to what I'm saying. Do you know how many girls will still bang him anyway? That's no, what I was but saying, bruv. We're talking about his image, image as a whole. Does yeah. that, that get affected? That's all no, I, no, no, I don't think it will because it's he's Usher. Deny it. He's Usher. It's not even deny it. He's just don't even have to say anything. But then that's saying it will with HIV. That's what I'm saying for you. But the thing is, Magic is not a performer. He's not... Listen, Magic was a basketball Yeah, but hold on. Is Usher really doing much at the moment anyway? Really and truly. We released an album last year. Yeah, he still does shows and that. It's making no difference. None whatsoever. None at all. 
None at all. Everyone will I reckon people. I think, yeah, the I reckon people I think what he says. I think if he doesn't say anything, I think people will forget. Forget about it. Yeah. Mate, R. Kelly come out with that video years ago, and it's he made an album. Hey man, a lot of people forgot about that video. <laughs> the time honest, that I'll album be, come yeah, out, yeah, really, honest, you know, I'm not even living that. No one's still his success has been the same. Uh? His brand has been tarnished, but his success has been. Yeah, that's what same. I mean. He come out the album. You make people talk about something else. Yeah, divert their attention. Like no disrespect, but. Let's be honest, there's a lot of men out there who banned underage girls, yeah? So, <laughs> listen, there are. If you, you want to deny there are, yeah? So, no. from, a, from a parent's point of view, from a female's point of view, it's disgusting, whatever, whatever. What people discuss about the arcade thing is because he picked the piss on all that shit. That becomes a joke. But it's still not an STD, a public STD, especially... In the days of social media, if this was not... If he came up now with that plan with the, the piss or whatever, It'll be a different story in social media. Mm, yeah. mm, mm. So we're in a different different era. Yeah. He's finished, bro. <laughs> no, I don't think he is. I don't think he's finished. I don't think I should <laughs> finish the talk. Me. I don't think he's is because like Chad he said, under, it's out there and it's bad. But year two, people be like, oh yeah, yeah. Herpes isn't going to kill you, is it? They're saying Usher. Yeah, they're girls will still. Girls will still bang him. They're sh- he's Usher, he's Usher man. He's oh, no, Usher. No, 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 but do you, so his brand's not tarnished at all? Maybe, on what? Is it Bro, tarnished at all? Well, a little it's, bit. It's, 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 it's a, a little no, bit. A hiccup. A hiccup. It's a hiccup. Two years from now, we'll be like, oh, I remember that time Usher had herpes. Ha, 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 blah, blah, blah. And right, that would okay. be it. Okay. Right now, we're getting the jokes off on Twitter and stuff. Yeah. And it's funny. Two years time, we'll be like, yeah, 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 yeah. Two years time, we'll be, it'll be swept underneath the carpet. They're showing pictures of him with blonde hair now. What's your point? What's wrong? What do you mean? <laughs> what? Oh, the has got blonde hair. What's your point? No, but it's just they're trying to show him in a different light now. Like they would never show him with that kind of like hairstyle. Do you get it? They're trying to make him have that image now. What did that come out today? Yeah. It's like a herpes hairstyle, basically. That's what he's saying. <laughs> herpes turned his hair blonde. That's what he's saying. That's herpes I'm herpes you turned your that hair blonde. Has never been there ever. It's part of the discharge. Yeah. Is that what they're saying? No, no, no. I don't know whether Asha's talking Asha about has herpes or, or we're not. talking about the podcast, but wrap this up. Now you right. still got you still got to yes, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. Yeah, no. Wrap it up then. Again, it comes up. Asha didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Good pun there. The, the Kevin Hart thing, in my opinion, yeah, where he's allegedly cheated on his wife. And then you see the pictures and then the video surfaces where he's sitting. In the the beautiful would end all of it is he's sitting in a car having a conversation exactly. with another female. Exactly, thank like, you. Let's move on. In it. Do you th- grow Making up, a hoo-ha out of nothing, Grow man. the fuck up. Women need to grow yes. the fuck up. Yes. Because the women have come. People on social yeah. media need to grow the fuck because up. Because they're bored, yeah? Yes. And they don't oh, have hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. See, this is, this is what I want to know. What does it say here? It says that she's a singer. Mm-hmm. The, the mystery up. lady is Monique Gonzalez. Yeah, she's a singer. So why can you not so sit that, with her? That that changes my whole thing exactly. because if it was some random, random chick yeah. like groupie yeah. that in the car, before, right? no. yeah, yeah, I thought I was wondering if she's an actress. Then I'd be like, you know what? That's a bit dodgy. Oh wait, they're both in the back seat. Yeah, but you watch the video; look, it's nothing, bro. Like he's turning around. With yeah, bro. It's it, when you look Ooh, at it; it's nothing. Damn, she's fine. She is fine. Twitter bruv. cares, bro. Twitter cares. Well, right, it's more the outfit. That's fine. She is bad, bro. Yeah, she's banging still. What's that got to do with anything? I'm just saying. I'll ask you another question. Do you think yeah. him in that car yeah. uh, is okay for a married man to be in a car with her like that? As a married man. Late night in a, in a car like that. Caught in that type of situation. Do you think... Bro, they look like they're both in the back seat in that one. No, no, don't worry. Don't worry how it looks like because I've seen it. So, should he be in a car by himself with another woman? Is that what you're saying? Basically, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) It looks dodgy. That's what I'm saying. It It looks looks dodgy. But if he got away with it, he's a bad man. No, no, I don't think he's done anything. That's that's the problem I had with it is I don't think he was cheating. I just think... When you're caught in those situations yeah, as a married it's man, it's yeah, it looks it. dodgy. I get that, but in his situation, it depends on what the circumstances were. Because they said they could I'm be working saying, together. Could be yeah, working exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You can't help. But I'm saying, just in those pictures, out yeah. late night, 
whatever, whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. getting getting snapped in the back of a car, yeah, whatever the situation. Yeah. Yeah. As a married man, you have to do better. Be a bit more clever, but isn't it? Probably have the driver yeah. in there as well. Or he was in like. there. He was in there. There was a driver. That's what I'm saying. He was in there looking into it depthly. So ego. Someone's yeah. taking a fog, fog yeah, off and exactly. tried to try to just, exploit him. As yeah. a married man, you have to be smart. But he's laughed it off and he's he cleared it up it anyway. And his wife. So I think people jump the gun. Ah, he's cheating. Blah blah blah. Without but actually looking into it. Doesn't this just kind of make you uh, think that every story that will come out, of everyone's just gonna start thinking it's bullshit? Where they even if there is truth to it now. Unless there's some red hardcore That's evidence. That's what happens all the time, innit? If, if a yeah. celebrity's seen with another celebrity, That's they're automatically it. doing something. Mm-hmm. Why exactly. is that the way that that's... The angle. Looks, yeah, Late looks night, fun, creep. That's what it, it looks dodgy, but, you know, so you just have to... As a married man, be careful. Well, Cause people what's everyone's take achieve. on it? I reckon he did it and he just got away with it. I don't think he did it. <laughs> no, he did it. All right, was that the last one? Yep. Well, the last one we want to talk about is Lala. Yeah? I think leave, leave, leave Lala's teeth to um, next week, man. Next podcast. Yeah, be done, yeah, be done. Nah, bro, she's gonna come out way more serious. I, I I felt, yeah, I just felt, I felt sorry for Carmelo, man. Yeah, but it's he's, act, he's it's going, acting. He's going, it's acting though. That's your wife, bro. It's it's like, what? So what? So what about all these yeah. other? What about all these other characters bro, that are bringing out their teams and everything? Bro, I'm, I said for Melo, for Melo, I feel bad for Melo. Right, right, right. He's going through a rough time in his oh, career yeah. right oh, now. Okay, that's what I'm saying. That specific moment, that specific scene. Give me the fact that that was recorded. Yeah, well before. Ago. Yeah, like exactly. Before all, all yeah, bad timing then, isn't it? That, oh, so I all, he, sorry for all he's Fuck saying is he feels sorry for him to see that on TV yeah, right now. Right now, going through. But he's not saying it's such a. Team. He's not saying it's. No, he's not saying it's such a bad thing to do that. Whether it came out a different time, That's it came out a year from now. You have a problem with your missus doing it? Yeah, I would. Yes? I would. I yes, would. Definitely. I would want my my missus to. I don't no, care, bro. That's bro. Not acting. I don't want my my wife's titties on thingy. Right. Is that cheating? No, I don't think it's not cheat. It's not. Why? No, acting. I, I can it's see. Acting. No, I can see. It's acting. I can see his point. In a way, it is cheating. It's what not cheat. Why is it cheating, bro? She acting. has got his tit in a man in a man's mouth. Yeah, that is cheating. To do that, well, then but don't acting. listen. But has it cheated? No, but in a way, bro, you don't even. You don't even. Oh. No, no, Darren. So you be around Darren, another Darren. man sucking your wife's tit. No, bro. Come on, well, man. You'll have... be alright with it, but it's not cheating. It is cheating. There's a difference. That's why I'm saying my, my, I wouldn't want my wife. Because I know about it. Like, that's what I'm she, saying, exactly, bro. Exactly. No, no. It's cheating rules, It's not bro. cheating. It's it cheating? acting. Is it cheating? Is it cheating? Is it cheating? Bro, so <sighs> how can that be cheating? <laughs> it's, it's, it's not cheating. <laughs> how is that cheating? Uh, that's no, it's not cheating. I see what you're saying. I see what they're saying. Yeah. No, so not, is it cheating? So I don't actually know. Is it cheating? It's cheating. No, it's not cheating. It cheating. No. I just wanted to ask the question. No, no. no, no cheating, no, no. cheating, <laughs> cheating, cheating is something it devious, is cheating. isn't it? Right. Cheating is something devious. This is acting back. Whatever. Yeah, bro, this is worse. She's doing it for on TV right in front of your face. But she's acting. She's acting, bro. So she isn't really? acting. Acting would be not putting her boob in a man's face. That's what would be the acting. The director tells him how to do it. The director tells him. Don't to listen do it. to the director. And one more thing. One for more thing. Why do they even have to have those sex scenes in because it? That's what because Power people want to watch. No, it isn't about that. That's like just audience. That's how people watch. Have you watched Power? Yes, of course. I watch right. every episode. Season two. Every week there was a sex scene in there, bro. Is it? I'm about to start watching. Bro. Bro. And banging her up. Yeah. Right. Because people want to. Am- Amari Hardwick's married, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. So here's my question now, yeah? Um, I'm going to sidestep the cheating question because I, uh, I don't know. Your wife is an actor and she comes home with the script from Power and you know that Power's <laughs> going to be this big program. Like, like it's going to be one of the programs of our generation and your wife comes home make with a the lot script of money. and she yeah. shows you, boom, all these scenes are in there. Like... What are you saying? I'm saying you can do, uh, you can do the 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 program, but you're not doing any dirty dirty things like then that. Then they don't want her in it, right? So what? Ah, uh, then do? then she misses the, misses the opportunity. As my wife, she misses out on the opportunity. No, I let her wow. do it, but she's cheated. That's deep, bro. That's not wow. deep. That's not that's deep. my that's my no, wife. Why would I want my wife's bro, titty all over the thing? How is it such a bad thing? What Clinton so said, bro. This, this is what you call a real thing. husband, bro. Hang on. So she's what? never allowed. Yeah. To, hang on a minute. So she's your wife would never. As, as, as an actor, yes. yeah, she would never be allowed to be in any film or that TV a series scene. that has a sex scene. Not, a not like the one I saw Lala doing. Can she kiss a man? Yes. Can she yeah. get on top of a man in a certain way yeah. with clothes on under the covers? Can she be naked? No. No. 
So yeah. if she's under the covers, don't and get you can peer see, pressured, bro. Yeah, don't get peer pressured. And you can see the arch of her back. And you can see the arch of her back. Yeah, you're going too, too far details no, and stuff. I'm, I'm saying it's TV, bro. Listen, no, no, I'm saying the scene that I saw Lala do in that, that thing the other day, my wife is can't do that. Yeah, but okay. his thing is taped down like they're No, I don't know. What are you no, talking no, no, about, bro? They they fun. tell them to let it all out no, now. No, it's taped, no, no, yeah. They're trying to shit. No, they're trying to shit. Maybe in Bollywood, bro. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, I'm telling you, bro. Because no, no. they need to get into it. No, How no, are you getting into no, it, bro? How are you doing that acting then? They'll take it down, bro. You can't. They're wearing something and he's taped down. So you would let your wife do a sex scene like Lara did? La 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 bro. La la would I let, listen. Would you let Lara do what <laughs> Lala did? For Axel Grace. I will I will feel away about it, but I'm not stopping her doing it. Good you wanna say nothing, you'd be like, that's no, no, no. I will you just mind. walk out when them scenes are happening? Yeah, I'm not watching So it. all your brethren and all your boys on a Saturday night when it shows, seeing your, your woman get done like that so on TV it, and you're like, yeah, it's, it's okay. It's acting. Acting, you don't even fucking us. What's the problem? Like. Okay, so then why doesn't so why doesn't a man just let his wife come out with her titties out in the living room when everyone's watching TV? Is she acting? What? Yeah, she's acting. She's acting. She's acting. She's acting, bro. She's getting paid for She's practicing her scene for power. Is she getting paid for it? What? She's getting paid for it. Who's paying her? It's not acting, is it? No. My, so, the full. so my yeah. wife, no, no not, not them you, scenes what like is that. The difference? Not them there scenes like that. Like no. Jordan no, ain't letting no. his wife do it. No, 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 and don't try, <laughs> don't try <laughs> convince him to yeah, let his wife do it. Tell you, look, this is what I need to do. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Shutting it down, you know. No, sorry, no. no. You're basically shutting down her career. No, no not shutting down her career. I'm, I'm shutting no. down that scene. No. that scene. No, I'm shutting. She can't be in power. She can't. And then any acting job, she has to be. Oh, I can't do a set scene. My husband won't let me. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So she, she gets no work. You. She gets no work. So wait, wait, wait. Are you, no are you trying to say women can only get in films if they do no, sex scenes? No, I'm yes, so, you are saying no, that. I'm not saying that. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Because that is what you're no, literally I'm trying to say. No. Because you said her career's over. No, I'm saying. <laughs> what are you saying? No, so you're saying basically, you no, know I'm saying. You're saying that the woman has to say, I can only be in these if there's no sex scenes. I'm not saying there can't be no sex scene because we need to get into Oh, I can't, get na- I can't get naked. There's, it has to be specifics. Maybe she can get naked, maybe not. We'd have to look into it. But I'm talking that specific sex scene that Lala did, my wife can't so do So what about the scene she did with, with I didn't my see man? That. I didn't see it, I didn't see it. She had her tits out. We've probably sure, not, sure. probably, probably not if she had her tits out. What I'm saying to you is, yeah, forget, forget all the other TV programs and future opportunities. Power, as big as it is, your wife gets that script. You're telling your wife she can't do power. I'm saying it's she can do it without the set down. screen. If no, they say no, 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 no but then you're not doing it. Oh, then no, no, she can't do power then. Basically, saying money's not everything, bro. Calm down. It's saying money's not no everything, isn't it? Yeah, she I'll turned out power. I didn't marry my wife to go on TV and do sex scenes, bro. Thank you. If you met her and she was an actor, though, then it's a little bit different. Yeah. That's different, that's, though. That's different. Because then he'd be accepting then, it from then day one. Then understand, that's her career. That's what she did. From day one. She went to school. She got a chance to become a good actor, a successful actor. But a good actor, though. Thank no, you. I'm saying hypothetical. No, she, yeah, she, she, she only got into that program <laughs> because she showed, showed her teeth. That, that's the fit. That's I the thing, bro. She showed her teeth. That's the right. No, the no, but she, no. Well, I saw that clip. I think she did. What about the other girl then? Which other girl? Ghost's wife. She showed her teeth. I don't. In there. I don't watch the program. She's program, from Free or W. Yeah, she showed her teeth in there. She, yeah. she acts good. Yeah. You're telling me that she can't do the same thing. That she can't do the scenes as well. No, but no. if they saw the whole script and it was like literally two scenes out of the hundred, you probably. No, it's it. every week. So I'm no, not not that girl though. Not the, not uh, I don't Finney's watch it, wife. So I don't know. I'll start not, watching. Not uh, Omar's wife. He, she only but did Lala, a couple. Tasha of... and Angie were getting beat out regularly, regularly in the first bro. two seasons. Reg- more than Lala, Lala, bro. Are you mad? Lala scenes are See, mega sexy. What you're doing? Lala's you're... only had like three. Uh, yeah, yeah you put, and two proper. Yeah, so you put me under peer pressure, and I've said yes. I shouldn't have said yes. I don't want it, no matter what. Thank you. What? That's no, it. No, my wife can't do them type of scenes. Yeah. I, those clips Shut that it I down. Bro, you yeah. She should be a director. I'm not controlling. She should be a Have some respect. That's, that's my wife. wife. It's not that's controlling, bruv. It's not controlling. You're, you're trying to keep team. your wife's respect. Well, that's what you're trying to do. Well, you ain't got to say, bruv. What? Because you fucked up already, so she can do what she wants. Who's situation? That's his comeback. That's his karma. Watch your wife get dig out. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like man is you. going through it right now, bro. <laughs> there you go. You man man, it. It. man is in the park by himself in a hoodie playing really basketball right. like this at night time, really, 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 really,
Bruh, 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 he's going through it, bruv. That's his own doing. Yeah, well, that is his own doing. He's going, I, I she, do. Go, go, she, go karma's a bitch. Sunday, like everyone else, and watch your wife get digger on camera. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. I feel for man, boy. Wrap it up, then. Yeah, wrap it up. All right, you go. Wrap we'll it wrap up, it up. Then. I'm just going to say... Your wife is not doing Shout out to, to OJ Simpson. You're getting parole. I don't know really care about OJ Simpson. Nah, bruv, bruv. there's a lot of people that okay. must care about him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, All right, we're out of here, man. Peace out. Pardon? Who are you? What? <laughs> Who are you? And you oh, oh wrong. yeah, yeah. Sorry, I have to say that. First stuff. of all, the social media is <laughs> GH headquarters <laughs> on every platform. Shut up! Shut up! Cut his mic off. So on Twitter, on Instagram, and on SoundCloud, you can find me Follow the GH headquarters. Right, well, I'm signing out. Chad, I'm gone. Big Z out of here. No, not Big Z. What? DMC's out as well. <laughs> Be right, I'm gone. Please. <laughs>